Good evening, and welcome back to the fourth and final episode of Cuttlefish Sweepstakes. We would absolutely love it if you would like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check that bell so you never miss an episode. In honor of the final episode, let's get some predictions. Tell us below in the comments, without cheating, who you think the last remaining player will be. Will it be Glitzy, Babar, the Walrus, Glup Shido, Breezy, or maybe someone we haven't even met yet? If you'd like to support the stream, we would absolutely love it if you would check out our merch shop. Also, go check out our Patreon where you get a lot of really awesome rewards in return and a brand new campaign coming in January. And lastly, make sure you check out thecrookedmoon.com today to find The Crooked Moon on Backer Kit and reserve your copy now. Thank you. Shucks, I'll get you, Tia Matthew. I'll get you, Air 2. The Baylor, demon from the abyss. A beep boop, a beep boop beep. Oh, I rolled the natural 20. Goodbye, Tia Matthew. Hey, Gary, what's going on? Oh, hey, Andy. I can't stop playing Dragonair Silent Gods. Oh, no way. You're still playing Dragonair? Well, since they partnered with, uh, uh D&D, the content has been amazing. Compared with the phase one, Phase two of the D&D uh, &D collab offers players even more abundant uh, uh, gameplay uh, events uh, and benefits. Wow, that's incredible. Actually, I've spent so much time, I haven't been going to work. I'm losing the condo, Andy. Oh no, that too? Yeah, I'm gonna need to sleep on your couch for a few months. That's okay, uh, I can make some room. Good, I don't take up much space. I'll only need a good 50 square feet for my anime girl figures. Sounds good to me. Also my kegs of cheap beer. Sure, bring them along. Also my waterbed. Okay. Also my exotic pet emu. I named him Kevin. Oh, that's an up reference, let's not go with that. <laughs> I named him Ethan, the emu, so. I'm sure I won't be much trouble. You gotta pay for my Grubhub, though. I'll have to check with my lease. I don't even know if they allow exotic pets. No one has to know, Andy. Your landlord, least of all. If you didn't already know, Dragonair is an open world strategy RPG with the Western fantasy theme. It integrates classic Western TTRPG gameplay, represented by Dungeons and Dragons, such as dice rolls, character customization, dungeon battles, and other types of gameplay. It has garnered over 10 million downloads worldwide. Whoa, 10 million? That's how much I owe the IRS. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I guess we'll have to move to Guatemala. I'm not so sure you moving in with me is such a good idea. Well, it's too late. You've already signed a blood pact. Ethan and I will be there this evening. Um, okay, that's a little threatening. No, 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 Andy, that wasn't a threat at all. It was a promise. Now that the iconic D&D characters Drizzt and Ertu have made their appearance in the game, Dragonair Silent Gods will officially launch Phase 2 of the Dungeons & Dragons collaboration on February 23rd. Two legendary mages, Elminster and Sam Master, will be making their debut. There's even a brand new story where you get to collaborate with Elminster and face off against the Cult of the Dragon. Whoa! You know, I once dealt with a group of fellas called the Cult of the Dragon, but I don't think they were summoning Tiaman. What were they doing? They were mostly just hosting spaghetti nights. Actually, a cool couple of guys, really. I also heard, Gary, that you have to eventually defeat Sam Master. Whoa! He's apparently the impersonator of the Child of Chaos. Spoilers. Ah, what a fraud! You know, I knew old Sam growing up, and I always said, hey, if you keep impersonating the Child of Chaos, people are gonna cry wolf. Wait, you knew Sam Master and now he's a, a famous character in a video game? When are you gonna get your own video game? Oh gosh, that's a great idea. Are you listening, Dragonair Silent Gods? Also, are you listening, Dungeons and Dragons? So, you can check out Dragonair Silent Gods right now on Windows PC, Mac, Steam, Epic, 
and on both mobile platforms, Android and iOS. Whoa, even Epic? Yes, even Epic. That's so epic, I'm gonna chug jug and Fortnite dance off screen. So now is your chance to join real D&D &D legends in Dragonair Silent Gods. Make sure you do so by checking out the link below in the description. I'll see you in the world of my, oh, hold on. Dragonair Silent Gods. I'll see you in the link in the description. That was close. I'll see you when you enjoy some delicious cabbage with Eric in the game, which is really a thing. I played it. Oh, and also Kirsten Dunst from Interview with the Vampire would be there. Goodbye, everybody. I adore watching the tusks slowly fall apart, crash and burn, and from the ashes of those hopeless attempts at companionship bring forth the god we are looking for. Gods I love to gamble. <laughs> John Luke was vicious and heinous. I would have seen that rewarded. I loved John Luke, but he had to go. That's one Kentucky fried bitch. <laughs> Incredible. I liked the lawyer more and more with every piece of blackmail. Jean-Claude, though he used grotesque methods, proved to be quite efficient in these sweepstakes until the end. Let the fires burn and the ashes of your enemies rain down around you, Glitzy. As much as I enjoy Babar and his fiery spirit, his strength may be his downfall. I always knew Babar and Glitzy would stand above the remains of the fallen. Babar is ruthless, and that is what will get him to the end of this game. I'm pleasantly surprised that the walrus is still in this. <laughs> Y'all, we really said let's torture these poor fleen flell sportscasters by making them watch people die horrifically. That's right! And without a moment to break and br or... Woo. And without a moment to break or breathe, we're picking things up immediately with the next game. When will it end? When the last one standing is, well, the last one standing. <laughs> Indeed. Did I hear you correctly during the last game that you participated in these cuttlefish sweepstakes previously? That's correct. Does that mean you know what's coming next? Based on the familiar looking gilded table the remaining players are gathering around now, Yes, yes I do. And you survived. Does that mean, does that mean you won and ascended to godhood? Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Back when I played, the winner simply got to keep their life. I also got a hearty handshake and a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Goodness. Well then, well, what's in store for our players? <coughs> a game most sinister. A game of trust and betrayal. And of course, the food is incredible. This is where I discovered Lampredotto. It's just incredible when it's done properly. I'm not... I'm not sure I could eat knowing that each bite could be my last. That's basically every meal. Damn. Well, who's left after everything that happened last round? We're down to just ten players now, correct? That's right. Uh, that's right. In this penultimate game, we've got an Aracocra barbarian named Queek. Babar B. Babar, whose middle name I recently learned is also Babar. <laughs> An autonome barbarian named G4RY64, though I understand he just goes by Gary. The Walrus and Aladrin of the Winter Court. Galileo. Glitzy the Bang Sparks. A halfling druid with the name Regan. A strange creature who goes by the name Glup Shitto. <laughs> A gnarleborn from the Crooked Moon named Breezy. <laughs> and a dwarf called Bargrim that makes most other dwarves seem ple downright pleasant. Wait, is that dwarves or dwarfs? Now is not the time, Verrett. Any guesses as to who might take the ultimate prize? These two final games will test these players' wits, their social skills, their speed and their strength, and their willpower to survive. I myself remember the bittersweet liberation of victory, freedom and coffee for myself, oblivion for hundreds of other souls. The prospect of becoming a god on top of all of that is a daunting one. 
Perhaps these games are an existential metaphor, telling us their stories about the mortal condition. Individual games like the one we're about to witness might seem trivial to the blinded critics and philosophers of today, but the core of competition, its essence, has become crucial to our salvation, if we are to be saved at all. <laughs> Barrett, pass me the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive in. Well done, Derek. Amazing. Once again. Amazing. Can I just say I'm very disappointed that <laughs> Derek mentioned a thing about the walrus? Because I was really hoping to say, and also the walrus. The walrus get the door victory. First little housekeeping. Uh, uh, we need to figure out who, I guess not all of these correspond to anyone anymore, but we need to actually uh, uh, correspond these to the folks that they were corresponding to last time. And I, I have fresh bottle caps. Oh, I had rose gold. I have fresh bo bottle caps for those new characters that and we the just blue mentioned. Ones, the blue. You seriously don't have a Budweiser? <laughs> Uh, ironically, I don't. I think I might have a highlight. Oh, I'll have a Samuel Adams. Um. Oh yeah, this bass, large mouth bass. That looks like Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah, definitely yeah. Reagan. That's um, definitely Reagan. If we wanted to, we can also flip them around and do names. Nah, it's uh, kind of uh, bottle caps. I remember bottle caps. As long as we all remember, we're good. Okay, we're good. Uh, additionally, the bat one would be good for Queek. All right. Okay. Now, when you put down yellow. one you of your characters, glitzy next okay. week. Put one of your uh, uh, your other characters on the opposite oh, okay. side of the table. Oh. All right, that's doable. Um, Wait a minute. Oh, I see. And it should be like the opposite, opposite. <laughs> not not literally directly facing you. But if this is oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, okay. nine, Can ten. You put Queek where Derek's pointing at. <laughs> Creek needs to go here. Yeah, right? You don't want us exactly Brazil. across from the edge. Not, not directly across. I just a little bit of variety just to make sure. And who else are we missing? Uh, wait. What about me? Oh, I see. <laughs> so this is Glup. That's Glup. And yep. this is Gary. That's Gary. Yeah, Adams is Gary. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, can we get the, let's, let's get the yes, camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Feeling, feeling the heat of the intense game of competition that you all felt. Not just uh, you, um, Babar, the Walrus, and Glitzy, but all of you have had friends uh, in this uh, competition. All of you have had your own share of experiences. You remember going through all of these games all together, and it's only the 10 of you now, very cautiously and slowly making your way to the table as you're being directed by the pyramid head uh, constructs that seem to run this game, or at least are its enforcers. Uh, you slide some chairs apart, you sit down, and you, you look at your new neighbors, and you realize that that you are, uh, uh, have found yourself essentially in a very, very um, fancy banquet. Uh, and that courses are being prepared. A large number of forks and, and knives and tiny spoons all around you. Uh, beautiful candles sitting across from you. And uh, you realize that there's an, uh, uh, a coin, a very special coin, where the first plate is eventually going to be served. On one side of the coin, you see a goblet. And on the other side of the coin, you see a knife. I'm going to mechanically hand these out to you now. Everyone take one and pass oh, them down. Jesus. <gasps> oh, oh, God. What the hell? I don't like this, Derek. Yep, yep. And you're going to need a token of betrayal. Oh, God. Here and you a go. token of trust. All right, Rich, here's oh. right there. Jeez. Thank you. Oh, very cool. Thank you. <laughs> Here are the tokens of betrayal and trust. <laughs> As you sit down, you realize that uh, uh, just by sitting, that there is some sort of magical enchantment, some sort of aura. Attempting to flee the table feels like it fills you with fear, like there would be terrible, uh, perhaps deadly results. You are locked into this meal with the people that you probably will enjoy a last meal with unless you should see through to the final round, whatever final game may be coming around the bend, or perhaps this is it. And music suddenly emanates through the dormitory. <laughs> the rules of the game are very simple. On your turn, and it'll be your turn if the chest that is floating above you <coughs> <coughs> 
floats above your character, one of your characters, uh, you'll roll the death die. If you get a one on the death die, you die. Jesus. But if you don't die, you can choose one of your neighbors to your right or to your left and no one else at the table to converse with, to have a bit of small talk. Whomever you choose, they will choose to trust or betray you and you will choose to trust or betray them. If you both trust, the chest will move away without harm. And then that person will have to roll the death die and so on and so forth. However, Holy fuck. if one of you betrays, that betrayer gets to choose where the chest goes. They just get that power, and it can be anyone at the table, save for the person that they are, uh, uh, that they are, save for themselves. And uh, if you both betray, the chest remains in its spot, and you have to roll the death die and begin another round. Pretty simple, but... Uh, Difficult uh, at an abstract level to yeah. uh, to convey. You might have to keep us on track. I will be the enforcer of the rules, and I'll walk you through the first round. If you wanted to play a practice <coughs> round, given the seriousness of this, I, I could in. I could play. No, no. just all practice rounds. No, let's just no do practicing it. Oh, I have, a, I have a question. Yes. No questions are fine. Um, is this song in public domain? Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So Specifically, obviously the song is well past well, anything. I mean the version. the performance is, I double checked. Okay, check. good. Um, uh, <laughs> or are we able to twist the death roll die? Death you are not uh, able to twist the death roll Oh, die. Jesus Christ. Hey. What is the death roll? Well, a it six? starts as a D10. Oh. And then it'll no. become a D8 when it moves, and then it'll become a D6 when it moves, and then it'll be... This is going to be a short episode. If it kills someone, does it reset? Yes. Okay. But only to each die smaller. So it'll start at a D10, and then it'll get smaller as it moves around, eventually becoming a D1. When you're saying that death. we can talk to someone directly next to each other, in Babar's instance, it's literally these two people? Yes. Okay. And in, when someone dies, then the person who would be the next neighbor would be the next person that you could talk to. Okay, cool. My heart is racing. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if we both betray? The chest remains in where, where it is, above the person that it is. That's right. Um, I'll let you sit for a moment, and uh, the um, now dressed almost in uh, uh, fancy waiters' garbs, uh, the pyramid heads all sit down and place, as you take your token, uh, place the plate down in front of you. Stuffed myconid caps. They look and smell delicious. But you also get a sense that if you wanted something else, being that this is your last meal, you could order any food or beverage that you wanted and it would be delivered to you post-haste. I'm gonna roll a d10. So are we, are we allowed a to one. talk to each other right now? You can talk to each other cross-chatter cross table style, but I rolled a one, and the chest Swings down around uh, wh whomever that is. <laughs> Bargrim. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What does that look like? Oh, we. This is a character we've not yet met. Bargrim Iron is a dwarf from the Great Mountain Keep, and he worships the greatest <laughs> of all the dwarven ancestor gods, Clangin and Silverbeard. And he's got a great big bushy red beard, and he has full, he's clad in full plate armor, and he's got a war hammer, and he's got a big shield, and uh, yeah, he's just, he's, he, is, he is John Q. Dwarf, he's the dwarfiest dwarf that you could ever dwarf. He's so um, dwarfy that it's dwarfs and not dwarves. Yes, it's <laughs> dwarfs he <laughs> is. Yes. <laughs> Oh um, man, this really takes me back. Bargrim, so, that uh, Bargrim. this chest suddenly hovers above Check you and you realize that um, 
Uh, you've been spared. You do not have to roll this death die. You innately know the rules of this game, even after the rules were conveyed to you over uh, uh, from some magic mouth uh, that echoed through the dormitory. But you've also just finished uh, uh, the grim experience of uh, the falling platform battle. Everyone had their own arena, and you were able to survive through sheer grit and dwarfiness. Um, and so you'd be able to choose uh, the person sitting across from you, um, who is... I believe Queek. Queek. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know. Oh, and Gary. Yes, Gary. <laughs> and Gary are your neighbors. Um, is it clear that uh, you are like a robot person? Uh, I presume we should probably go around and explain the other characters that are sitting around. We the I, would, I don't want to do your job. For as you. we We're... as we run into the other characters, I okay. would have you make your introductions. Okay. And so, sitting next to uh, uh, Bargrim uh, is G4RY64, and uh, across from her is Queek. Um, characters we've not met in the Cuttlefish Sweepstakes story so far. But Gary, why don't you tell us a little bit about your story and what you look like upon first appearance? Um, what you see seems to be a, there's no other way to say this. It's basically a felt uh, automaton out of Chuck E. Cheese. But this oh is, <laughs> but this is. I say happy, you say birthday. Uh, and uh, <laughs> good old Charles Cheese. And it's basically a, uh, a cartoonish short uh, wizard with a great big bushy beard, uh, white beard, uh, uh, a robe of moon and stars, big uh, round glasses on. Uh, he looks very Muppet-esque, uh, but also with elements of um, of uh, the Chuck E. Cheese uh, bear jamboree uh, style, and uh, moves. And you can tell that it's a little short wired. There's like sparking going on, <laughs> and so. Uh, uh, his his head shaking a bit, and you can see that um, there is a, a company logo of uh, Budweiser's uh, Children's Beer Jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> That's special. That's very faded. There's stains of there's like mustard stains all over them. You can tell like it's like a Bavarian theme restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but like this wizard, it's like it's really just off. It's off. It's like the the, the Italian chef who's the drummer in the Chuck E. Cheese Pasquale. Pasquale's who's the, yeah, the Pasquale's pizza. Pasquale's I was gonna pizza. say Gary Biersch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Gary. Yeah, Gary yeah, 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 yeah. And so, uh, <clears throat> shaking in the wizard hat is like very much flopping. But you can tell that there's like mechanics going up into the head because the whole thing is his body. It's very unsettling. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Gary. And uh, across the table uh, is, I believe, a Aarakocra. Yeah, there's a, a small uh, duckling Aarakocra, uh, too small for these chairs, so there are a couple of uh, pillows uh, put onto the chair. They so were that, very accommodating. Yeah, so that Queek could, um, could be at eye line with everyone. Um, she is uh, the smallest one of the ducklings and was picked on a lot as a kid. Uh, so she um, decided oh, to train as hard as she could, and you see that um, leaning up next to the back of the chair is this giant uh, warhammer um, that she carries around. I think mm. that's what I gave her was a warhammer. Impressive. Um, that and she impressive. is she is a barbarian, and she has um, she is uh, yeah she is um, looking around. She's got glasses on that make her eyes really big, uh, and she's sniffling a lot. Okay. Uh, but she is uh, eating away at a little salad. Uh, Bargram, you look down the table and you know per the rules of the game as they've been described to you that uh, for the immediate future, choosing to trust or betray uh, one of um, these two creatures that are adjacent to you at your table uh, is the name of the game. That is what you're being asked to do and uh, there's also a delicious looking stuffed Myconid cap in front of you. And so when would I vote, Mm -hmm. what triggers the roll? Ah, so uh, in the order of operations, you will reveal whether or not you trust the person at the same time they reveal whether or not they trust or betray you. We determine the outcome of that. The chest, the skull, will either move to a new person because it you both trusted and it'll move to an adjacent neighbor, which I'll determine randomly, or 
it'll stay on you, meaning you have to roll the death die because you were betrayed. You uh, you both betrayed, or uh, if one of you is the betrayer, they get to choose anyone else to inherit the death the, the death die. If he rolls, if he has to roll and yeah. he succeeds, what happens then? You go again. So the if chest does not move, or the chest will randomly move. The the person who initiates whether or not they want to talk to one of their neighbors is the person who has the the, the chest on them. Okay. So if uh, I vote betray, and let's say for instance Gary votes betray, yeah, I need to roll. Both of you need that to roll. That is correct. Does he need to roll too, Gary, or no? Nope. Only oh. the person underneath the chest is under threat of immediate death. So the only oh. way I don't roll is if Gary votes trust. Ah, or but if this Queek is this is an trust. important wrinkle. Let's say that you roll and you die. Then the chest would immediately move to the other betrayer, and they would immediately have to roll. So that's the risk of trying to betray. Is that if it kills you, they immediately have to roll. <clears throat> and because this is abstract, I'll, I'll demonstrate <laughs> by going this way. There's a little more room for me. Is there a, a, a USB-C charger under the table? There should be. That doesn't look like one. That looks like one. Uh, let's do this. Hold on. Shucks! This this mushroom looks like the vegan option portobello burger it might, from it might Budweiser's be Children if Beer Brewery. Someone feels like they have an understanding of the rules to just put it on them first, <laughs> so that the people who don't have an understanding of the rules can uh, I mean, watch I could, how I could one roll of them again to keep, keep it fair. Um, the de- the chest arriving on someone isn't going to affect anyone. So if anyone wants to start with the chest, they're putting themselves at risk. But I'll go. Uh, yeah. It's too slow. You guys yep. are full. Nuts. Okay. Okay. Who, do you, who do you want to be? Uh, breezy. I'll take it over. Which breezy. one's Breezy? Green one? Uh, no, that's Regan. Oh. What? No, no, the green one's Regan. That, that's Breezy. Yeah, yeah okay. red. Okay. Um, so you would be able to choose one of your neighbors. I don't understand. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, who let's is say, Let's oh, say thank you thank chose Re- uh, This is Regan, I think? And yeah, that's, that's correct. Regan and Glitzy. Yeah. And Glitzy. Okay. So now, in order to. I choose Glitzy. I know the rules. Okay. <laughs> um, let me just write these down so that I have them. Uh, Bregan. Yep. And then that's Breezy. And Breezy. Yep. And then five is Glitzy. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, On this side's the walrus. Walrus? It's blue one. Yep. Then Rose Gold. I believe that's uh, Mr. Glup Shido. Glup Or, or Shido? Mr. Shido. Then I don't know who's next. Uh, oh, this one? Oh, that that must be your. Uh, that's your, Galileo. That's Galileo. Galileo. All right. Galileo. That's gold bronze okay. color. And then we got Babar, Babar, Babar. Babar, Babar, Babar. <laughs> okay. But most people don't know that the B's for Babar. All right. And then we got the rest. <laughs> Moving down the table, you see a gnarl born of a man. You see Breezy. Uh, Breezy, what would you look like uh, to someone's first appearance? Oh, what a good question. I look like a tree folk. Okay. A body of bark, no clothes, hair of vine and leaf swirling back behind my head. Uh, And not overly imposingly uh, tall, and certainly more than just a little bit out of shape. Okay. (laughs) A tree. I've got a lot of rings in my trunk. My midway trunk. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if we were to bisect you, we'd find out. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, it's That's it. who you are. Uh, Breezy, looking to your right, you can see a halfling. Uh, and to your left, you can see a fairy. Uh, you know from some like short interactions you've had in your brief time in these dormitories that one is glitzy and the other is Regan. Yeah. Can I ask a favor? Yeah. Do you think you could organize the initiative cards oh, or the seating order so that way we can I was see going who we're to sitting do next that. to? I was going to do that. Mm. Um, um, so this is Bargrim. Yep. Thank you. Bargrim. Uh, yep. Gary. Mm-hmm. Regan. Way to go. Thank you. Wow, Breezy. Glitzy. Well done. Mm. Walrus. Yeah, oh, walrus. Is I'm Romana is reading. Nobody asked. I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm happy to introduce Bar- myself. <laughs> when, you know, when the time comes. Yeah, we'll we'll get there. there. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all right. Uh, Regan, Regan. Yeah, 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 that, 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 not in a rush. It's all right. Regan's Does got that help? Time. Yes, that helps. <laughs> thank you. Significantly, thank you. My pleasure. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yep. Just. Okay. I know that was a lot of setup, but breezy. Uh, you realize that you have your choice over these Mykonid caps yeah. of somebody that you would want to trust or betray. Yep. Well, is anybody else see this chest moving around? <laughs> Looks like pretty crazy. Oh, let's see. Hey. Hi. Uh, your voice is throwing me off, I love it. What do you mean? <laughs> I just want to, I want to repeat it back to you. This is the voice I've always had. <laughs> you know? Oh my god, fam. I just, I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure I've if it's such a good idea. I've been here cuttlefish loop <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a good idea for us to be sitting next to each other. I cut bombs and you're made out of bar. Oh, I could a... ignite you into fire and flames. God, that would be awful. Unless you've been rained on recently or you're in a forest with lots of humidity. Or your wood is waterlogged in any way, in which case fire does nothing to you. I oh, found the out classic. most games. Waterlogged wood. Yeah. Um, Are yeah. you feeling waterlogged? I'm feeling a little waterlogged. I like <laughs> your chill, mellow vibe. Well, yeah, it's just the way that I do things, you know? Yeah. You would look like really good as a squirrel. You know, I've never thought about that before, but I think. Be a little bit shorter, because uh, I haven't seen any foot tall squirrels before. Yeah, no, there aren't. That I've seen. But I think I would make a good squirrel too. Yeah. Well, that's kind of my goal or whatever. Is to turn me into a squirrel? Well, to turn everyone into squirrels, and I've gotten pretty close. Could I still have my bombs if I was a squirrel? <coughs> yeah, I mean, you'd be a pretty bomb ass squirrel. <laughs> I like the way you said that. Yeah. If Let's say we get out of this together. I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah. Could I like I don't know hang out in your bow sometimes? Yeah, your I mean, bow. That's, what do you help? How do you pronounce that? That's anyway? it's, uh, it's bow. Yeah, could I hang out in <laughs> yeah. your bow sometime? Do you yeah. have like a little like spot inside of like one of those little knot holes or something I could like rest in and stuff? Oh, if I was a squirrel, yeah. I could put my nuts. You know what I mean? Oh <laughs> no, yeah. That's that's my whole plan or whatever is to kind of like you know become a god and then. Turn everyone into squirrels, cause it feels okay. kind of nice when they race up and down, man. <laughs> so that's my evil villain plan. That's it doesn't just seem it. so evil at all. You know, I was scheduled to get out of prison in 30 days, and I chose to be in here. So Whoa. honestly, I don't think I make the best choices. Squirrel, fairy. Like as long as I got my bombs, it really doesn't matter that's either way. That's like totally gnarly. Well, it's been really nice getting to know you. Yeah. Well, I think it's time we either betray each other or trust each other or whatever. <laughs> I know that's going to be kind of scary. I wonder what you're going to pick. I don't even know yet. I mean, no. that's kind of my whole thing. It's just kind of like, you know, like in the whim driven Yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, good luck. I mean, I hope it all works out for us or oh, whatever. Yeah. Good luck to you. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hide my answer right now. Okay. Yeah. No hard feelings. Just, just heads up. Yeah, no hard feelings. No so how do we feelings. do? How do we vote? We just put it <clears> in just our pick, pick the one that you want to vote with in your hand, betray your trust, mm -hmm. and then reveal it on go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Can we get on camera here? Just, just drop it like. Oh. Yeah. Well, get I'm the, gonna have a hard time get, doing that. Three, two, one, drop. Oh, reveal. That's good. Oh, oh you scumbag. no. Oh. Scumbag. Breezy. Tree. What does it mean? It means that know, you betrayed. Yeah. yeah. Duh. Um, that means that you get to move the uh, chest wherever you want. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll move it to G4 or Y64. Oh, so nothing immediately happens to me? Nothing immediate. Oh. Yeah. Which one? Oh, is it this guy? Gary's the shield. Gary's the shield. Oh. Gary, why don't you roll oh. a D10 for me? Hey! Oh, he, who, who I move it to rolls a death die? And then oh, if he survives. No, I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Who's no double scumbag? Yeah, no. I won't. <laughs> well, who, who's the other one? This is the list of Glum Shudo. I'm moving to Glum Shudo. Where's Glum Shudo? Glum Shudo's got it. Yeah. So who's Glum Shudo, Mike? Glum Shudo. So uh, Glum Shudo. Uh, uh, Pinko me chasa Glum Shudo. <laughs> oh, we have never been to this. The Malia Cuttlefish Sweepstakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you roll a one right away. 
<laughs> just immediately. You will see a um, sold separately uh, a blue alien. Sold separately. <laughs> a blue alien creature. He looks like a tall, uh, pudgy worm with a mouth. Ew. Two bulging <laughs> eyes, like frills and like long floppy ears. He's got a big bulbous like elephant seal type nose. He's got four arms that are all kind of mismatched. Um, he's really kind of more of a background character, but he has a very, very deep multiple <laughs> page, a uh, multiple comic backstory yeah. uh, in the comics. Uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, he's not very important. Uh, so <laughs> I MSRP. MSRP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. MSRP is twenty yeah, yeah, yeah. five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you roll, so you roll a D ten. You roll a D ten. Get a one. <laughs> A nine. A nine. nine. The chest moves by the very your very thought <coughs> and, and looking over at Glubshido and, and the um, antithesis of nature that he is, uh, you uh, uh, it it almost peaks open just a little bit, and you get a sense that there's this nefarious energy that could have pulled the very life, the very soul from Glubshido had it wanted to, <laughs> but. He remains alive. I'm sorry I betrayed you or whatever, but that guy is a stone cold weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's totally cool that you betrayed me because you didn't send me to my death immediately. Yeah. After, so I guess there's a bonus. No, not you, but that guy. I mean, he needs to die. <laughs> and the death die reduces to a D8. Yes. Oh. Last meta question. Uh, do we know how many people have to die before this game ends? Or we don't? Um, Do we even know that we're playing a game right now? We're just eating dinner. I think we're no, no, no. You, you were made aware of the um, the nature of the game oh by the announcing rules, describing what the tokens ha uh, uh, in front of you did. That you would you would uh, choose a neighbor, and uh, it would revealing the goblet of friendship or the uh, uh, knife of betrayal. You'd be able to uh, uh, essentially protect yourself or and or try to harm others, hinder others. Mm. And um, that's exactly what you just did. And so you yeah. uh, you showed the the betrayal uh, piece. Um, it's okay to say no to my question. No, I'm thinking about it. Um, yes, uh, I think that they would have indicated that only half of you okay. would survive this meal. Okay. Glop, you're up. What color is? Uh, oh, you have to choose a neighbor. This queek. Uh, oh, a little, uh, very pale yellow duck, like, yeah. like buttercup yellow. Oh, that's really cool. Who's gold? Oh, gold so is. Uh, this is me. That is. Um, that's um, Galileo. Uh, Galileo. <laughs> the walrus. <laughs> the walrus. The walrus is blue. I want to talk to Galileo. <laughs> oh, no. Talk to the walrus. Nope. Uh, Shido shit. looks over at this winter ladder and then immediately turns and sees Galileo. Uh, what does Galileo look like? Uh, what is his story? Galileo looks like a turtle person. I don't know how to say <laughs> this. Um, he's sitting at the table. He is green. Uh, he has the classic kind of like stomach, uh, like kind of body, like the shell strapped to his back connects from the, connects from like this, almost like off yellow or like, I don't know. Yeah, that color, sort of like soft undershell. Turtles. Yeah, the, the, the classic undershell. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I mean, turtle face, um, turtle body, turtle shell. Uh, How much should I be picturing the uh, the yeah. master guy from uh, Kung Fu Panda? Is that sort of like the a little a little bigger, not quite that old. Okay, little. Bigger. I know he's more tortoisey, but yeah, like... yeah, yeah. For like kind of firmly turtle, but not like not like crazy jacked or anything. Like kind of normal body, but he does look uh, sturdy and and hardy. Uh, and he has a giant net that's nestled around the back of his shell, mm -hmm. and at his side sits like a, a lunging javelin. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Knowing that there's great risk in the conversations that you have around this table, you turn, and just at that time, a, another uh, meal is delivered to everyone. A plate of deviled dragon eggs with underdark truffle oil drizzle. <laughs> God, this is so delicious. Guess if I'm gonna die, at least it was yummy. Dubargon, Olga S, Spelljammer Adventures in Space. Makun Titak 
Ricky. <laughs> that is what Fletcher says. <laughs> That's not what I I would like to, as an editor, editor's note, editor's note. When we put this episode up, can we get our editor to, to fill in like subtitles yes. for Club Show? Please, yes. like, yeah. can we please get? And I don't care what it is. We just need subtitles. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Oh, hello there. This food is totally awesome. Is that what you said? Glup shitter. Chuba <laughs> Gusa Galileo. <laughs> ah, yes. I too wish they had pizza. As you say that, immediately. Uh, your plates are replaced with what looks like delicious pepperoni pizza. I peel away the first slice and just the ooey gooey cheese yeah. drips off as I do. You, you get a you get a long cheese stretch. It's mm. fresh out of the oven. Mm. <coughs> um, I'll just look and just blink as I have like my forearms and they kind of articulate like action figures. Only for twenty five ninety nine. Chuba Inka Bunga. I initiate. I jump. I jump. I said, oh, oh, shit out of me. And I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to do it eventually, and it still scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Galileo, as best you can tell, he's endeavoring to show you one side of his corner or the other. Oh, are you just gonna randomize this? What a nightmare. <laughs> are we gonna get it on camera? You're so the last time. Whoa! Okay. One, two, three, go! Glub Shitto betrays. Glub. You have control of the chest. <laughs> You may speak your strange Glub Shitto language and command it to arrive at anyone else aside from yourself. Including the person that you're talking to. Just a drop to me. I said it over to you. To Galileo. Galileo, okay. Roll a D8 a D8. for me. <sighs> oh, this no. is untwistable. I too serve the dark one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's what you hear as suddenly uh, a pizza, the pizza stretch continues to be pulled as he's being pulled away from the chair. You watch as the, the chest opens like a mouth and he is pulled uh, by a beam of light, inescapable. Whatever powers he had, whatever dreams for godhood swallowed in an instant and suddenly the chest clambers closed. And all that's left are the string, the arc of stringed cheese as Galileo is consumed and is no more. <sighs> as I get sucked up into the air, I tie a silver ninja mask across my face and say, This was a Ninja Turtles reference. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it goes back to D10. And that you randomly assign where the chest goes, or does it go left uh, and right? Uh, the, God uh, damn it. Oh, I have rules for this. That was no, fucking it goes back to him. Because he, he just betrayed and killed someone, right? I think Hold that's on. only if they both betray. Oh. No. I don't know. No, I think... No, he, my God. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's only if they both betray. I believe. I could be wrong. Whoa, is that like what happens? So what happens if both people... Um, trust. <laughs> then it, it sounds like it, it just it just moves goes away. From what I'm oh. what I'm it, it's going to do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now, which okay. is which is I'm going to roll a dice to de determine if it's going to go up the table or down the table. It's going to come towards but me. But it can't oh, go fuck. back to the the people that trusted. Because if it can, that's then, correct. Okay, cool. Yeah. the 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 point of trust is that it's going to get at the fuck. It gets away, it away from, from you. you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it harmlessly hovers over Babar. And you realize that you can speak with Glub Shido, the betrayer, or to your left, a duck named Queek. I look over at Glub Shido, <laughs> and I see what has just transpired. <laughs> and, and my blood boils with the rage and poisons of 10,000 white hot suns. Mm. But I know that in this moment, I cannot defeat him. 
in hand-to-hand combat at this table. Mm. Babar would have not been dining on food. He would have requested the finest whiskey and the finest cigar that they would have had to enjoy perhaps his last mortal pleasures. They um, uh, produce a uh, <laughs> red spider whiskey, the very finest. Uh, this is not their uh, 25-year-old. This is this is a 100-year-old barrel uh, barrel-aged vintage, single barrel. It's the nicest whiskey. It's that the that nicest Babar has whiskey that you that you would ever ever endeavor to have. Took me 30 minutes to build that. <laughs> Did you get me? Took me 30 minutes. I turned. I, I looked to my left. And I see this small duckling Aarakocra, and I look at the mighty weapon that she is wielding. Mm-hmm. And I look to I look to, to Queek, and, and uh, Babar says, uh, taking a sip, I understand your name is Queek. Yeah, my name's Queek. Do you want some of my salad? You're not eating anything. And they have just put down mixed greens with raspberry vinaigrette. I have decided. I like raspberries, but I want their smashed in a vinaigrette and ruined with vinegar. It makes it real sour and so sweet. Enjoy. I have decided that I will enjoy this fine whiskey and this wonderful cigar, for this may be my last mold of pleasures. I tried whiskey once, but it made my beak numb, and then I couldn't talk for like an hour. We have one way out of this. Yeah. You and I must trust each other. I mean, you look really strong, and I'm super strong too. I mean, I look like it because I'm real small and I'm on top of some pose right now, and I'm eating with this dainty fork, but I'm really strong, I promise. I can tell. That is why I have chosen to speak to you. That, Galup Shito, <laughs> cannot be defeated right here, right now, as I wish to crush him and splatter his brains across this table. So what you're asking is if we trust each other, then the, the first chance we get, we're going to send that thing to Galup Shito and hope he dies in one fell swoop? The longer that we survive, the longer that we can trust each other, the more likely that Galup Shido will burn through all nine hells, one after the other for eternity. You're so right about that. Um, I think we should make sure we're gonna do that, but only five people can survive that turtle just got axed. So we should figure out who else we're gonna trust. How do you feel about that true guy? The tree man? Yeah. He was pretty (laughs) adamant about turning us all into squirrels. I have to be honest with you, I have no plan of turning into a squirrel. Me and Papa Duckling. What do you say? The time is now. Okay. So wait, we're not gonna kill each other though, right? We're gonna trust each other? We must trust each other. This is the only way out of this. Okay. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. We trust. We have both decided oh. to trust each other. Okay. You okay. trust. And the light of the um, uh, uh, the chest um, glows a little bit more radiantly, a little more golden, a little brighter. And you watch as it softly uh, moves away from me two spaces. The walrus. Uh, as the chest begins to move. <laughs> as, <laughs> as the chest begins to move, I look to Queek and I say, when there is no peril in a task, there is no accomplishment when it is completed. These trials and tribulations are the fires with which our steel is meddled. I like you. You're motivational. That's what I need. And then I and then I look past Glup Shido, and I look to the wall of this, <laughs> and my face returns not not to that vengeance, not to that anger and hatred, but to that stone stoic look. Almost Wait, a pity. Does the walrus have to immediately roll? <laughs> because we both trust him? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You roll, you fucking You roll. immediately roll. Yeah. I do? Yeah. However. Check the rules. <laughs> 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 one ten, dude, you're yeah, fine. You got a 90% chance to see me, bro. <laughs> okay, because, because someone died, the death dice starts in an eight. Oh, oh no! And so the next it time it it's gonna start at a six. six. And yeah. the next time it's gonna oh, start at a four. Yeah, so okay, it's gonna, so it's, it's gonna, an eight. It's, it's either a one and eight chance. Fuck! 
And there was a 50-50 chance of it moving two spaces up or two spaces down the table. I That's mean, how the fucking game works. This is going to get really brutal before the end. <laughs> However, we need to check in with the walrus before yeah. you roll. Before you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and say at least for like no fucking word. reason, my music right. stopped working. Oh, so you can say many. So you all get death words. <laughs> we all get death words. Why does this? What's that me? song from uh, the Brave Little Toaster? Where it's oh like, oh God, God, the one in the junkyard. It's fucked up. God, that song slaps, but it's so existential Ooh, and like, it's horrible. mortifying. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, like I'm just very twists. confused by my Yeah, that's gonna feel real fucking what bad. What am I supposed just, to do with these? Just die, man. Just don't die. Just don't roll on. It's that easy. It's harder than it sounds. Oh god, I need to pick a better- uh, what's my die? What's, what's this one? Uh, let's try this. That didn't count. Uh. Okay. I love this game. Uh, the walrus. So great. <clears throat> um, they nearly had to carry you away from the previous arena, having witnessed the death of so many. Jean Claude, especially, hitting hard. Where are you, the walrus? As you're sitting down, staring at spicy chimera soup with basilisk tail broth. Damn, now she sounds. I haven't eaten a bite, and usually I have an That's endless right. appetite. That's right. Uh, I've eaten at least. 3,800 grilled cheeses since this game began to start with a lot of microwave tech salad. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna lean over to Glitzy. Glitzy, we can still do this! Me and you, alright? Well, yeah, and Baba, too. No! No? He killed Freebird! Can I hear this? Yeah, no, but. <laughs> You're but having you a conversation with Queek at this time. You don't seem to understand. It was gonna be free bird of you and me. I didn't want you to die. And I don't want me to die for sure. And free bird, he had some photos of me. <laughs> I didn't want anyone to see. <laughs> oh God. His practices were questionable. I'll give you that. And he went off with those pixies. He wasn't even with us for some of the games. The walrus, you gotta understand. He's one of my oldest friends. Oh, and his memory's gonna live on with you forever as long as you don't do anything stupid. You gotta survive, man. Well, that's what I mean. If there's only five of us are gonna live this. Right, and three of us can be you, me, and Baba. Let's we shit together, all right? That stupid duck at the end. That weird automaton over there. Don't listen, all right? Because you, you, you definitely we should keep this guy. <laughs> and then um, what? we gotta kill the rest, you know. Yes! Oh, no, it's You suddenly, as you're staring at the the water starts getting brighter and brighter and brighter. I grab his hand, I look into his eyes. Look into my eyes, it's gonna be okay, the water is gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Comes and snatch him up. Oh my god. It passes over Glub Shido. <laughs> Glub Shido. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> and suddenly the mouth of the <coughs> chest peeks open. <laughs> should we big screen this? Yeah. We should big screen the rolls. Yeah, I love that. Oh, oh, it's a seven. Oh, it's seven. a seven. Oh, it's a seven. Oh, I told God. you it was going to be okay. I told you. Oh. 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 You got it. You just got to have faith in the people who have been with you from the beginning, you know? <laughs> That's right. We can do this. We can do this. And the mighty tusks. The mighty tusks. We're going to make it out okay. Here we are. Just breathe, all right? Oh. Well, now what? Oh. I think. Do we have to vote? Do yeah. I kill someone? <laughs> Trust I, think, I think you get to choose someone to kill you, and that guy right next to you is eating pretty loudly. No, I think it's me and you. We trust each other, right? You're gonna kill me? No, we're not gonna kill anyone. Oh. I'm gonna try to kill someone else. Oh, okay. But if I talk to you and we trust each other, right? Oh, yeah, of course. All right. We just need to prove you our think trust. You see me? I trusted this tree guy, and he betrayed me. No offense. All oh. right. 
Well, let's do it then! None taken or whatever. This is for you, Johnny! <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Incredible. Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, thank God. Both trust. <laughs> trust. I will roll. And it's going to ascend two spaces back to Babar. Fuck. The <gasps> death die is now a d6. Oh god, Babar! Babar! No, no, hold on, don't, don't, don't roll it yet, don't roll it yet. Are you gonna have a little bit of roleplay? Yeah, play we got the moment! What, what, what are you doing? Oh god, <sighs> the walrus, look at Sinking. where it's going! The, uh, the illuminating light of the chest passes once over again over Glup Shido as he... <laughs> <laughs> is Glup Shido to my left? Yeah. 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 Oh my Continues god. Continues to consume the spicy chimera soup, just reaching into the sp- uh, boiling hot broth, like uh, uh, if putting a r- your raw hand into a hot pot. And uh, it uh, again illuminates you as you're deep in conversation with Queek, who you've grown more and more interested in. I, I'm swirling this fine whiskey and, and, and puffing on the cigar. It's a as big I... Zuban cigar. Uh, it, it bulges out at the center and sort of tapers out at the end. It's the perfect blend of savory and spicy. Um, you're getting notes that you didn't think were possible from the tobacco. Uh, I see, as I see that, I'm having this conversation with Quick, I see the chest come back and I say, Um, that doesn't look good, my friend. <laughs> no. No, it does not, Quick. But you're strong, right? You could, you could, you could. Anything has got shit on you. The problem is, Queek, that yeah. strength alone will not win this competition. All right. If you if, only knew the things that I have done. If you only knew the things I've done. I may be small, but I'm one crazy ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I can sense it. I can sense it, Queek. That. That's why we bonded. That is why we have chosen to ally ourselves together. Yeah. This might be my end. Your memory will live on with me, Babar, and I'll make sure that I do what you would want me to do. <sighs> Quick. And kill the shit out of that gluck shit out. You must. You must. <laughs> First and foremost, you must. <laughs> wow, everyone's in agreement to kill a Glup Shido. I'm just like having like, the time of my life. <laughs> I'll look and I see it all just kind of look up at it. <laughs> and then it'll go over Babar. Dobari <coughs> Babar, King of Elephants. Dipasaji. <laughs> <laughs> it occurs to me oh now my God. how far I've gone. How far I have fallen. But if I can make it, if I can make it just a little bit farther, the ends will justify the means. If you had a cult, I would be one of your acolytes and would help kill thousands of people in your name. I look up to the chest. I look down at Queek and I say, You may yet be an acolyte. Oh, God, that's I knew you had a ditty, Babar. I take I a, knew it. I take a long pull from the whiskey. Give me some of that, buddy. Uh, the whiskey? Yeah. I I pour some into her glass. They've brought over the bottle, and yes, uh, I, another that, snifter yes. immediately lands next to you. Um, and you get the sense that if you wanted to order anything at all, you oh no, could. I want some of Babar's whiskey. I, I, oh, I, I see. pour her some, and then I would top off my glass from the from the. I'll the, hold out my wings and uh, cheers with you. Uh, we we cheers, and then I say, oh, 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 just then to a, trust. To trust. Uh, two small bowls of Displacer Beast marinated um, olives are put down in front of you. They're actually really difficult to pick up. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, reveal. We both trust. Uh, with a trust, I will see if it ascends or descends. So <laughs> what happens if, if one trusts and one betrays? The, the betrayer, betrayer gets, gets to choose anywhere. where it moves. So no matter where it is. So basically, Correct. what if both people betray? Then, then it stays where it is, but and you roll again. Roll. Yeah. But, right, but then if the person who rolls dies, the betra- the betrayer then instantly has to roll. So if the so the basically the betrayer, she, so if the chest is over you, yep. and then Queek had betrayed you, she could have moved it anywhere. She or left it where it was. Betrayer moves it anywhere. Got yep. it. Got or it. leave it where it is. Right. Uh, yeah. 
I'm switching over to mystery because my YouTube playlist is terrible, and I don't know how any of you do this with YouTube. It's a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you must try this toffee. You, you must try this toffee. Um. Mm. Oh. Uh. It moves towards me. Two. Yes, and so it lands on Bargrim. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna use the restroom while. By the room <laughs> three. Can, can you bring me one of these? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and as it lands, you'll need to roll the death die for real this time. Um, and because we just had an D8 eight, six. a six, it's now a d4. <laughs> Silver beard, be my throne. It's a d, d what? Four. It's a d4. Oh my god. Imagine if Galilee Parker just <laughs> <laughs> yeeted <laughs> See me through! The yeah. chest starts to make it over to uh, its way four. over to a surly uh, dwarf. Uh, what have you been doing with your time? The um, <laughs> duck, so bummed. the duck uh, sitting across from you has been largely engaged in whiskeys and cigars with the uh, loxodon uh, on the other side of the table. And uh, immediately to your other side is this uh, strange animatronic man who can't stop shaking and sparking. Oh, I zoomed for him. What kind of wazak Indra Cooley may you? Uh, I don't know anything that you just said, but all I know is Chuck's I love this Chimera and Displacer Beast stew. It's not as good as our as our five dollar happy hour <coughs> special of kids tomato soup from the can. But Kid, it'll do in a pinch. Kids tomato soup in a can suddenly arrives in a heaping bowl. Well, Chuck's. Well, this isn't Budweiser's, but it'll have to do. A cold beer uh, <laughs> suddenly arrives uh, uh, almost instantaneously, cracking itself and setting it down on a, uh, 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 on the table before you. Chucks, I'm pretty sure that's actually a violation of IP, but you know what? <laughs> it, today could be my last. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. Which of the ancestry gods do you choose to swear fealty to? Well... You know, I don't really have any ancestors except for my my inventor and creator, the uh, uh, B. Yancey Zer. Well, technically, the scientist that he paid, but it's kind of <laughs> like him because he funded it. It was in his will after he died in a terrible volcano accident. <laughs> you know what I mean? It took him 64 times to get it right. By the way, my name is G4RY64, but you can just call me Gary. Everybody does. You're all right, Zoom If this is all powered on souls, do you even have a soul? Yeah, I think I do from a certain point of view. I think that's why I was in prison. <laughs> There's a lot of dark magic going on to make an automaton as functional as I am, you know what I mean? And shucks, I mean, I think if this goes really well, maybe I'll star in a hit video game series that a bunch of Zoomers will love and get obsessed <laughs> with. There'd be a lot of money in it. A lot of convoluted deep lore that doesn't really make any sense. Anyways, the, we don't have time for all the that. The Doom device comes for me. But I know that Clangin' in Silverbeard watches over me and will protect me in my hour of glory. Shucks, I think you'll be fine, fella. And I sort of just close my eyes and I, I let Bob, you... you're the best friend I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your time isn't now. Oh god. Hold the D4? On. I need to find yeah, a better a I need to find a better die that makes sense. Did you hear when he said he goes if, to if two he survives, goes one? yeah, it goes to two and then to a one. If you pass the two, does the next person go It just dies. dies. But then it will go up to a back up to a six when the next person Correct. dies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. This is too stressful. I don't need this. It's supposed to be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is over. Even Boxy Day's gone. Oh god. D4? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to drop it. Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 You close your eyes, Bargrim, waiting what, uh... <laughs> 
what fate you have in store for you, and uh, you don't hear it. You don't experience nearly anything. Uh, the rest of you all, however, watch as the person who is barbering gets pulled and <laughs> suctioned into into the chest. But by the time you have the chance to uh, 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 grimly open your eyes and realize what's happened, you are already in the mouth of the chest just as it's closing. It seems that Clan Geddon did not need an additional god. And you are not protected by his um, That's it. divine provenance. Bargrim Just. is no more. I guess I should have prayed harder, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I ruined all this shit. Well, I was gonna say, I told you! Oh. Oh. I love the dedication, though, man. Oh, we gotta I, get a picture of that. Oh, Afro Barry G, you know what I mean? <laughs> we gotta get a picture of that later and post in the Discord. The death die is gonna start at a D6, but first, it's going to move. Uh, it's going to move up towards Regan. Uh, well, yep, mm-hmm, death comes for us all. Hey! Uh, you sound like Kevin Bacon and fucking hey, Tremors. Hey, Regan! A little bit. You're right. the second best friend I've ever met. <laughs> well. And now you're the first. So, you would all see Regan. He is a half-elf. Druid of the Halfling? Uh, sorry, halfling. I, don't, I just have half-elves on the brain always. Yeah. Halfling. Uh, Druid of the Land Swamp. Uh -huh. He is from Ogway, uh -huh. uh, but way out in the sticks of Ogway. Uh, Whipper Wallow Swamp. Yeah, you know, he talks a little like this. Uh, <laughs> Mud have grown up with a pet possum a little bit. You know, his name's Regan, uh, but it ain't spelled like you think it's spelled. <laughs> All right. And uh, you'd see that he's wearing, you know, some real tough overalls, good pair of working boots. You'd have a nice straw hat, but that hat's awfully beat up after these cuttlefish sweepstakes. <laughs> it's a little scene. If uh, Regan makes it out of this, he's gonna buy himself a new hat, first off. Uh, then, other than that, uh, you might wonder how Regan got this far as he did. Uh, it's certainly because he can read, and he doesn't like that anybody might insinuate that he can't read because he's from the swamp. That's just ignorant. So, he's kind of Mr. Magoo'd his way through here, and uh, as this treasure chest appears above Regan's head, well, I suppose uh, it's time for me to uh, face the music. Is that right, Dungeon Master? Um, no, it, it, it just moves to you. Oh, to, oh, to start the oh, round over. Because there's been a death. Because there's been a death. Been a death. Yeah. yeah, gosh. Well, so at could lands, I have a prime rib, please? <laughs> uh, oh. well, a single prime rib arrives at the walrus, but for you, <laughs> uh, they sat down uh, uh, yeah. some moonshine. Oh, this. And oh. a giant plate of roasted harpy wings with ranch dressing. What? Why, why did why'd you think, I, why'd you assume that I would want to eat this? You see that everyone is getting a plate of this at this point. This time. is, that's, this is, what, is this because I'm from the swamp? You think that I just eat carpet wings all the time? That's you see, you see, you see the, the pyramid head. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I don't want, I don't want this. I want a regular sandwich. Just a regular sandwich. I'm just a regular guy. There's absolutely no need to make any kind of assumptions. A uh, sandwich is immediately brought over to you. Thank uh, you. The little plain white bread. Very limited condiments. Perfect. Lettuce, meat, cheese. Anyway, Mr. Tree, I noticed that you're a tree. <laughs> there are uh, plenty of trees that are true. just, you know, out in the swamp. I think that that is the case, yeah. Hmm. Ah. Nah. Well, there's also plenty of your kind out in the swamp. What's that supposed to mean? Well, just like fancy <laughs> fellas, you know. I uh, see. <laughs> well, you got a nice hat. Thank you. Hat's really, a little beat up. Well, First order of business when I win this whole thing is buy a new hat. Well, maybe wish for one. I guess if I'm a god, I can just make one come into existence. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, you definitely could. Yeah. Let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. Well, I don't like tax, but sure. Look, you're a tree. Yeah. I'm from the swamp. Yeah. Why don't you say we trust each other? Well. I kind of like what you're saying, and I want to win this time. Well, the easiest way to do that is to trust each other. <laughs> Are you ready? On the count of three. 
Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah, you fell for it, you big stupid tree. <laughs> you can't read it out. You dumb son of a bitch. The only thing that's got you going for good is that I hate glup shit on more. <laughs> so. You're like really men or whatever. Oh, when yeah. you become a squirrel, uh-huh. uh, you're just going to be the worst squirrel. Well, we'll see about that. We will see about that. We certainly will. Oh. Good luck, Mr. Oh. Shido. <laughs> 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 and uh, so you send the uh, chest to Glup Shido? That's right. Glup Shido, you're oh, standing no. in front of a, a, a huge bowl of Kraken Ink seafood chowder. And, not standing, sitting. Uh, it's hard to tell. But the chest <laughs> immediately starts to swim over the table, the spotlight of it o- o- over you, brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, what do you do in this moment? I'll see that it's that it's coming up, and I'll look down, <laughs> and I'll, I'll just say, he chubat to swamp people on the History Channel. <laughs> The death die is a D6. <laughs> if we could get it on the big screen. No, I don't, you can't fucking read that shit at all. Uh, where's like a really high contrast? We'll use this guy. It's literally... It's a super high contrast. No! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shido. I'll just look up and go, ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, that's a nightmare. Glup Shido. <laughs> Reading Glup Shido will not see you in hell. Um, you watch as the chest oh. opens, and he, uh. in a thin strand, Glup Shido is slowly pulled. His mouth, his mouth creates an opening like so. He is spaghettified. Um, it's like uh, 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 seeing someone take one of those oversized silver diner straws and sucking a, a, a f- like transparent flan off of a table. It just disappears, noodling into uh, space before the chest. Claps to a close uh, and it's flat. Jackie Alltrade says, "My goodness, glup to shitterines." <laughs> <laughs> That's actually brilliant. He did get glup to That's shitterines. Right. That's very sad. I really enjoyed yeah. glup shitter. I hope we see him again in future episodes. <laughs> um, I need to I roll. I need. Holy this is going shit. Real fast. Um, okay, it moves towards me uh, to Queek. Oh no. And now it's a D4. It, oh no. And yes, that is correct. The death dice Queek. starts at a D4. Oh god. And this you is... have the authority to connect with the person that you've been talking to, Babar, who you've been sharing with Oh, me. I don't have to automatically roll? No. Oh. no, 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 no. It resets. No. Yeah. Queek. I, I, this is the first time you want to see Babar I'll show a little bit of emotion after all this. It, it, it will not end this way. It will not end well, this way. No, I don't pick you to talk to, obviously, but though you start talking to me first, I was gonna pick you anyway, because uh, I don't know who's on the other side over there. It's a robot of some kind. You know what we must do. Well, Club Shadow's dead. <laughs> Small victories. Small victories, quick. I was, I was preparing to kill Glove Shadow, but Glove Shadow's dead. You know who's next in our sights? No. That horrific hmm? tree person. Yeah. <laughs> The well, tree I, must die. We do not become squirrels this day. I don't want to become a squirrel because I'm already, I'm already a duckling to hit up. I will be a squirrel would make me a little bit bigger than I'm right now, which could be kind of cool. But I don't want to live in trees. We must, one of us, one of us must trust. The other must betray. Okay. That person will be able to move this demonic device. Okay, well, can I betray you because... Um, I trust you last time. I did what you said, so can I, can I, can I betray? I'm really, really chosen to betray. But in yeah. the betrayal, I'll set it over to. I must trust that you will move this chest away from me. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll set it over that tree guy and I'll hope we spite him. You promise? <coughs> we have to. <laughs> uh, okay. Quick. Yep. You have to understand that I have severe trust issues. You must be really scared right now, but I promise. No. I promise with as much as I am small, and I just spit all over myself because my beak is not for that whiskey I drink. 
I will kill a trigger if I can. Quick. Yeah. I do not fear death. I do. <laughs> I do not. I do. <laughs> well, I do not. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Are we alive? <laughs> this is our plan. Okay. We, we can sway this. We can. The tree person is the is the farthest point away from both of us as well. Yeah, it works. So we can get it out of the way from us. Are you ready? I'm ready. Breezy, you're the third best friend I've ever had. On the count of three, <laughs> two, if I die, one. I feel I, so bad. I betrayed you. But I told you I was gonna do it. So it's a real betrayal. Who knows? I am trusting you, Quick. Do the right thing. Okay. Die, Breezy! <laughs> I said it's Breezy. If I die, I get to play that bar. <laughs> I don't know how that works. You can play Regan. No, I'll play that bar. I don't think uh, you can play that bar. You'd be no, really choose. good at Regan this yeah. year. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to D4. figure that out. It is a D4. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a D4. Uh, Breezy, what have you been doing? Uh, you've been uh, conversing with Blitzy. I've been looking at the fucking agonizing death of three other people while we're eating dinner. What the fuck do you mean? This is very uncool, Well, we understand man. that this is, uh, we're, we're, we're actually taking some shortcuts narratively. There would be meals where maybe perhaps people wouldn't initiate this trust or at all. It, 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 this seems to be going on and on and on, and your appetite persists. Uh, you're served farm-to-table braised... <laughs> Farm to table, braised Goliath tree shoots. Oh, he's gonna roll. Host, oh. I'm gonna level with you, man. I just watched a That's good right. person get sucked up into the chest <laughs> like an over as silver diner's draw. <laughs> <laughs> this is very un uncool, man. I mean, that's where I'm at. <laughs> two. Oh my god. It's a two. Uh, you can't say no. That's oh, I, I'll, I'll, roll this one. I'll roll this one. Maybe four. The chest stops, oh. and it opens and shutters for a moment, and as it opens inside, you can hear, Ooh. <laughs> and then it closes. <laughs> He's trying to get out. Oh. 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 Mushroom. Why is this? It fucking kills me. <laughs> Holy fuck. So I get to pass it now? <laughs> you uh, now get to engage one of your neighbors. You can oh, turn yeah, and, and and uh, uh, talk to Regan and choose whether you want to trust or betray, or you can turn and talk to Glitzy and choose whether you want to trust or betray. All right, well, I know we had our misunderstanding before, <laughs> but there is time to make amends. <laughs> and let me start by saying that if we work together this time, our riches in Ogware, we would say, are going to be fatter than a swamp possum with the mumps. <laughs> uh, and you're beginning never watching seen this a swamp possum be so fat. I guarantee that. <laughs> oh my glob! <laughs> oh my glob! <laughs> Fam, oh, hey, back. Uh, you know, oh, hey, also, we, you know, you don't have to choose old Regan. No, I'm just it's saying, done. It's, it's locked down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we're just gonna. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do the. You're juice. starting to appreciate the gravity of having the chest over you. Is that the person that you trust? If they betray you and you attempt to betray uh, them, man. that means almost uh, very, very likely death for you—a 50-50 chance. It's never, oh. too, never too late to just trust. Never too late. You know how to make lobster Newberg? <laughs> you I'll take like, an order. <laughs> lobster Newberg is brought to you post haste. <laughs> never too late. You to forgot trust. the parsley. Never too late to trust. All right, all right, Mr. Tree. Yeah, Mr. Reagan. All right, yeah. all right. Reagan. It's it's a yeah. Reagan. No, it's Reagan. Don't no, Reagan. don't do that. No, it's Reagan. Let's just Reagan. trust each other. All right, let's, let's trust trust time. Trust. Three, two, one, real. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, my friend, I will see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> what are you now on double? It stays on you, and you roll a one d two. Give a D2. If you get a oh, one, yeah. you so, die. Oh, right. oh, I don't, I don't, oh, I didn't roll that. I didn't no, 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 you didn't roll that. No, that's just that. spell. <laughs> do you want, do you want, yeah. What, what, what does the head look like so that I can see it on the screen? So it says, like it says one, one and it says, well, no. I can use it. I can use it. This isn't even. I can put this in the middle. It's just hard to see. It's hard to see. That one's better. That one's better. Show the camera so we can see. So there's a one or a kraken. There's a cuttlefish sweepstakes. That's heads. Yeah, cuttlefish sweepstakes. That's good. And then that's, that's death. Bad. You will rue the day that's that the you death. ever tried okay. to cross Regan Glitter Jam. So we want to see the kind of level with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are Regan. It's Regan. But <laughs> you are going to be gone. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see about that. 
That's very funny. Yeah, that's really wow. Yeah, we'll see about that. See you, bitch. Oh! Oh! Goodbye, tree bitch. Oh! You watch as first the bark goes, no! and then the next no! ring goes, and then another uh, 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 thing. And he pulls section by section, <laughs> branch by branch, twig by twig. All leaves suddenly uh, lift from the uh, the um, seat and get pulled into the mouth of the chest before it comes down with a wooden crunch. And, and in that moment. Regan then realizes, because he was also the betrayer, <laughs> that he must immediately roll. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, does it become a 1d4? It's a d2. It was or a d4. It was already a d4? Was it already a d4? I actually don't know. I, don't I know. thought it was a d6. And I think the next one's yeah, a d4. Yeah, I think the next one's a d4. Yes, but it's I have an immediate d4 roll. Does it no, because, reset because is my question. Because there's a death. Yeah. So, so I sense. died from the D6 roll. Yes. Rough shit out. But the but because it was double per- betray, that's the one that comes with an outcome where the person who also betrayed must also roll. So does that mean he just automatically dies? That's right. It, my question is: Is it a reset to a D4? It reset to a D4. Okay. okay. So you have a D4 chance of. Regan goes. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Hold on. Which ones are? This one's more visible. That's uh, pretty visible. Can you see that? Well, I mean, it's going to be points no matter what. Let me we'll just not say. hear when you get sucked to hell. That was better. That one's good. <laughs> oh, fuck. Woo! It's a three. It's a three. <sighs> Woo! Uh, breezy. Uh, um, well, <laughs> see you, tree bitch. <laughs> and the chest moves. It took me 30 minutes to make that character. <laughs> very, very funny. That's very funny. Uh, and we'll talk about, you're going to have to inherit one of the characters. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be the only one. I'll be the only one. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, There's or Queek. Queek. And, or there's or Queek. Queek. Yeah. But, but, but it want. depends on which I'd one of our characters There's one more character that's going to die. That's so. true. So we'll, we'll, find out. we'll figure out. Because if somebody, if like the walrus dies, Gotcha Sorry, there are two more characters that are going to die. No, just one. One, two, three, four. There are only six left? Yeah, there are only six only left. Only one more character needs to die. Oh, I didn't write down Glup Shido. <laughs> <laughs> He's so easy to forget. <laughs> oh, we're so close! You got it correct in front of you, though. You got it correct on the initial. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I was this really happens. Really You're right. So, if it's only one more, then it's actually... And it's a D2. My apologies, it's a D2. Yes. I was I was doing that. Oh, wait, so it should have been a D2. I'll only roll. Yeah. If it's it, supposed to it be a D2. Because it would have been 10, 8, 6, right. 4, 2. Yes. It I'll should, roll. It should have been a D2. All right. It should have been. Redo it. Uh, oh, I, I need a coin, though. I don't, have, uh, I don't have a D2, so one, someone can go. lend me one. This cursed piece of shit. Yeah, thank you. And you got a 50-50 shot, you <laughs> jerk. Right. And then right. I wipe my hands again, and I... I <laughs> oh, fuck. He's gone. Oh! <laughs> I can read! Regan, you watch as uh, Breezy and Regan go very quickly. They both betray, and the light of the chest turns red. And you are all hit by this light as you look inside this impossible uh, uh, blinding light as uh, Breezy gets pulled, and then uh, Regan almost immediately after him. You can see his limbs and uh, 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 legs hitting the the side of the the chest, trying to to stop it, but the force is too strong. He's pulled free from his clutches, and with a wooden crunch, the chest closes. <sighs> and I, Babar slams his glass down on the table. As you do, the dormitory around you shatters. The table in front of you melts away. All of a sudden, you realize the five of you are all standing here. Oh, shucks! Standing I here. I want a pizza! <laughs> <laughs> standing here in a new space entirely, blinking. It's hard to adjust your eyes, but it seems to be middle of the day, a beautiful area. And looking around, there's an empty stadium all around you. You look down, and you're standing on a turf, brilliant neon green almost uh, uh, grass. And in each of your hands, looking down, you realize no you've got a bat. A muscle wood bat. It's time to play the the sport of the gods. <coughs> As it is known in celestial sports ball is also called Fleen Flower. No <laughs> <fuck>. <laughs> Ha! Rest in kindling. 
He's going down. We're yelling timber. <laughs> I'm too attached to all of them. Dude, the stakes are high. Very near the end now, and still my favored champion persists. I will savor our meeting should he survive the final round. <coughs> the walrus is my sweet baby boy, and I need him to win. I have all fingers crossed for the walrus. I think I speak for everyone here when I say we volunteer to die instead of Queek. Queek the mighty. <laughs> Someone's gonna get quacked. <laughs> I love that. <coughs> Do we need an update on twists at all? <coughs> oh. Should we, uh, yes. yes. Going into this last round, should we figure out? This is out? important. Uh, so, we have Bran Man Smash with 500 bits. Thank we you, thank have you, thank you. Two, 500 bits from Leslie. Thank you for the twists. Mm, thank you for the tweet. Uh, we got Morbidly Maven thank with you. one that says the walrus sweep. I love it. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Awesome. Thank so, you. no distributions yet. We're two away. Do we need large bottle caps? You need your bottle caps that will represent your players. Uh, that was that was your original one. If you'd like it oh, back, no. this was no. your original one. If you'd Keep like it back, Keep now dead. No, I want Queek. So you get Queek uh, is the, white the shield. Line. No, I got Samuel Adams. We're Samuel. That was the shield. He's over here. Hold on. That's the shield. That's Queek. That's Queek. Yeah. This is That's the Walrus, Glitzy, and Fabar. You're all wandering around this Fleenflel arena. Uh, some of you are familiar with the sport. Very familiar. Others less so, but um, it's a game you probably have played at least once in pickup games. The rules are very simple in a traditional game of, of uh, Fleen Flell. There are two teams of four or five on each side, and there's a tower. A tower that's equipped with a bell. And on the top of the bell, uh, uh, it, 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 not a, on top of the bell. On top of the tower, there's this bell that rings, indicating that a point has been scored. When it is hit by the magical orb that you do see sitting there in the center of the arena, an uh, orb that seems to float always, always perpetually uh, three, maybe four feet up in the air. You're also familiar with its magical properties. If you hit it, uh, it gains momentum and bounces around like a son of a bitch. Uh, the <laughs> AC and momentum uh, and saving throw DC for the um, ringer are always exactly the same. Resting, it, it stops at eight and stops in the space that it is now where it would be at eight, but if you were to hit it with, let's say, 10 damage, it would go up to 18 momentum, 18 AC, and then a, a DC of 18, and in the direction that it would go in. So for every five feet, it would go 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, and so on, bouncing off of the perimeter of the arena itself. You don't see an opposing team. All you see are looking around, the five, uh, uh, some of you strangers, some of you have known each other for three days. And <laughs> you hear a voice yell out, Oh my god, it's a game of Fleenflel! That's correct, the last game that we played is a game of the gods. A game they call Fleenflel. The very one that we should be sportscasting for, announcing for right now. Well, they're going to play Fleen? I don't see any teams or anything like that. No, it's a game to the death. Only one will remain after this final game of Flamefell. If they're struck by the ringer, they themselves will be destroyed. Jesus. Well, how, 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 do, how do they start? Well, a, a toll will ring out. A toll when they're all ready to go and they've said their final goodbyes, perhaps to themselves or whatever gods they worship. And, and, and that's it. We're just going to well, 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 watch them run around, uh, hit the ball, try to destroy each other. Well, they can use the ringer, or they can do it the old-fashioned way. This is barbaric. Put yourself where you want to start. Anywhere in the arena. Do you see the blue marker anywhere? I had to draw the map. Right here. And thank you, because I'm going to draw a cardinal direction thing here. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, we just put ourselves wherever we want. Yep. You know, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, that means on that on the battle map, you can position yourself wherever you want to go when initiative is rolled. 
But like like a, against a wall or like at an edge or just like in the middle up on the fleeing ball. Uh, you could be within five feet. You can't be on the square of the fleeing uh, uh, ball, uh, fleeing flow ringer uh, ball, but uh, you can be adjacent to it if you want to start there, uh, to something so potentially de- deadly and dangerous. Um, uh, remember, if it hits you, uh, it will destroy you. Now, uh, uh. I will say that I will allow critical successes on the um, dodging out of the way of the ringer. So mm. that's the only because the the DC for the ringer could be like thirty or forty or fifty depending on how much one of you crushes it, and I don't want that DC to immediately take someone out necessarily. You still have a five percent chance, and you have all these wonderful twists that our audience has so nice. graciously given us. So there's always a Ooh. chance that you may survive. Oh boy! But tactically speaking. Yes, you may choose where you want to start on the Fleen Flow Arena anywhere. In a corner, adjacent to the ringer, somewhere in, uh, on one side or the other, next to one of the other players. Uh, settle down where you want to find yourselves, and when you give me the green light, the toll will sound. Um. Well, shucks, I love Fleen Flow! <laughs> I love drinking like, a tall, yeah, cool that's fine, yeah. Budweiser. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go walk right up to it. Light screen. Hold on, actually. Is this is this version uh, favored dex to strength, folks? Um, yes, the bat that you have to hit it would be um, something you're proficient in, and something that could use dexterity or strength. Um, you can also use spells to impact the, the ringer. You can um, use area of effect uh, spells to impact the ringer. Um, it'll go in a random direction. Uh, only by uh, a melee attack could you choose the direction Have that it goes. Have we had in. a long rest since? Oh, the banquet is a long rest. Okay. My apologies. <laughs> Anyone who has still has used any of their resources from the last, uh, yeah, that, that meal was extremely refreshing. That won't be true for Queek and Gary because you guys just started, but Glitzy, Walrus, Babar, you are at a full tank. I can't believe three of us made it this far with our original characters. I know. I literally it's insane. can't. And we had a lot of close calls. We really, yeah. It's been very close. Fuck. I'm good where I am. You good where you are? Yeah. Everyone, thumbs up. I'll start yeah. there. <clears throat> I can't believe that it all comes down to this last game of competitive Sleen Uh It's going to be a free-for-all here in beautiful wherever the hell it is that we are. I think it's time for everyone to roll for initiative. Oh, natural fucking 20. Nice. Let me get a plus two, though, but fuck, I almost wish I didn't blow my 20. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna assume that that's gonna put you in front. I got a 24. 24, uh, Babar. 22. So Gary gets to go first. Amazing. I got a 21. 21 Whoa. for Glitzy. You guys are killing. 12. Me. 18. Ah. Okay. Um. Now, bear in mind, given the chaotic nature of the ball bouncing, it is entirely possible that you might not even see your turn during a, a single yeah. round. Uh, this thing is going to be moving like a crazy son of a bitch. You know how Flame Flow's played. Let's go. Gary, you find yourself the first to act, the closest to the Flame Flow ringer. And how does it work? Work? How can I choose where it goes once I hit it? Or no? You can choose the direction. Um, presumably, you know, if you're moving right up to it, you've got a few different ways yeah. you can hit it. You won't yeah. be able to hit you it You can backwards. hit it in any of the or cardinal directions of the diagonal. you can move it around and go this way. Yeah. You've got your cardinal directions here, if you'd like to reference them. Uh, north is going to be the TV, south will be Derek, and the numbers will be associated with each. If we need to do scatters, and I will do my best to count and help be the game coordinator. Thank you. Uh, and I will do my best. Uh, just don't yell at me, because I'll cry. Well, I'm a wizard, so it's time to use my wizard staff! And I'm going to pull out a giant uh, tower of Budweiser beer cams. That is my wizard staff. Uh, That is very funny. So fucking funny. That is so fucking funny. uh, It mechanically is a lance. And I will then uh, crack open one, I'll pour down a Budweiser, 
as I'll start to get in power, that is my version of raging. Uh, my reach extends by five feet with the lance, so I have a fifteen foot reach. Oh shit! You don't uh, have to move if you don't so want to. Uh, but if you want to change the angle, you can too. Uh, you know what you want to do. It starts at eight, right? Hey, yeah, resting is eight. Okay. I'm just gonna just reach out and smash it as hard as I can. Uh, which direction would you like to send it? I think this way. Uh, this angle? Yeah. Okay. That works. I hope I'm st not standing in a bad place for it. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna go boot. I am. Uh, can I hit it from here? That's more than 50. I mean, I can throw it 20 feet. Do you have to pick it back up if you do that? No, I'm a, a giant barbarian. Okay, I trust you. It's ice cold Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna hit it this direction. Yep. Okay. You just gotta roll more than an eight. It's to hit. 20 feet. It's 20 feet. He says he can throw it 20 right. feet. Okay, I'm gonna throw it 20 feet. Huh. Uh, reckless attack. Yeah, you, you, you crush it. Yeah. You don't need to get an 8. Okay, yeah, I hit it. Uh, so then damage. D12 plus D6 cold damage. Damn. Oh, that's a, this is a D12 damage. 7 plus 7 is 14 points of damage. Uh, so that's 22. And I have multi-attack, does that count? I believe that we gave you when you were a monk. We gave you your, the rest of your so uh, the rest of your attacks. So if you, do you have two attacks, is that how you're? Yes. You're taking one attack action, but it's like packing it into Correct. the thing. So I'm gonna say Generally. that if you have multi uh, multiple attacks on your turn and you can do stuff like that. Throw it up then, a bar. Yeah. Is the sandbag challenge in Super oh, Smash? Sure. Yeah, this is no, the sandbag. Yeah, yeah, that's a fucking that. perfect yeah. way of putting it. <laughs> I can throw it there? That is fucking perfect. <laughs> so we can we can attack each other and just kill each other? Yeah. Okay. Jesus. Gosh, I did it again! Uh, well, that's a good question. It, is its AC now 22 mm. two after the first attack? Yes. So you have to you have to get higher than 22. 11 plus... Which is close. Probably 8. You're probably plus 8. Oh shucks, well, I've, I miss it, so it's just gonna go off, 22. Okay. So you inflict uh, 14 points of momentum to it, and bringing, bringing it up to 22. 21, what? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Here, Glitzy can hit it. Um, resting is eight, so it should move nine, eight, shouldn't it? She gets a chance to hit it. Though, oh, it that's right. By. As it passes you, you get your if attack she wants, of opportunity. She just let it pass by. It is important for everyone to keep track of the oh, reactions. The reactions. Yes. reactions is always very important. Um, Glitzy's gonna let it sail by. Okay. Uh, nine, eight. Nine, eight. It comes to a resting stop there. Wow, Gary really has a long wizard staff. <laughs> you can say that again. Shucks, hey, hey, how we doing, folks? Babar, you're up. Use this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is way, way too far away for me to do anything. Uh, so, instead, what I'm going to do is... It's extra 1d4. Hunter's Mark it. Can I Hunter's Mark the bar? The ball? Yeah. It, it, oh, it's 90 feet. It, it's a, uh, is it supposed to be a creature? Yeah, technically. I'm gonna give it to you. I mean, I can just divine favor myself instead, which is totally fine. Um, actually, what I'll do is uh, thunderous smite is concentration up to a minute, and it's the first time I hit with a melee weapon, so I will cast thunderous smite. Um, okay. And I actually like where I'm standing. I think so. I don't even think I want to move. I'm watching this ball. Uh, fly around the field with, with just absolutely like hunter eagle eyes and uh, my, uh, my the, the, the weapon that I've been given to, to swing with mm -hmm. is now crackling with this this uh, heavenly power and that's my turn okay um, Babarga standing there, uh, he seems to be readying himself for the coming attacks um, not really close to the ball, I wonder if he's planning something oh, Glitzy, you're spell. up um Glitzy is going to shoot the ball directly towards Queek. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, she is going to use. Uh, what is it? Eldritch Blast to do that. Oh yes. So mm -hmm. it's resting. Natural 20. Oh! 
<laughs> Squid back! <laughs> I thought not drank all that whiskey. <laughs> uh, so, well, I mean, I guess it depends on whether the natural 20 was on the first hit or the second. I didn't think when I rolled both of them. They both apply. Yeah, yeah. But oh, yeah. the first hit would have raised it's an the momentum. Blast, so they hit simultaneously. It's fine because this, the 20 is automatic hit no matter what. So even if the yeah. AC goes skyrockets, you're good. Yeah, well, that's why I was like, oh, okay, both, so, so it would land yeah. both. You're good. And so... If, if, if she had done the 21st, then the next one would have been a 14, and the AC I, I would have gone... I risked killing myself here, uh, too, see, that's which fair. would but be fine. But I'm going to... We're, we're still just figuring it out. So let's say that it went 14, 20. That's fair. I didn't think about that. I mean, it's not that much damage. It's 10 points. Well, no, actually... Again. Ten, 18 points of right. 18 so points 26. of damage gets us yeah. up to 26. And straight to straight to quick. Well, what was the nature of your attack? Just Eldritch Blast? Yeah. Okay. 25, 24, 23, 22. It's just a, it's just a glitter bomb. 21. Now, you have your reaction. As soon as it enters your reach, you can use your reaction to attempt to hit an AC 21 creature coming at you. If you fail, it will still you still have a chance to dodge out of the way. And so the dodge will be at a DC 20 because it'll move five feet into your square and then bounce away. So you, you're fine. You Everything's don't have fun. to use your reaction to jump you're out of the fun. way, correct? You just, every time the ball atta- at, like, is That's going to correct. hit you. That's correct. That's correct. Because it may, it may pass. You do not have to use your to reaction dodge to dodge okay. out of the way. It's right. a saving throw. Okay. So I, the reaction is just to be able to the get re- an attack. You may use attack your attack of opportunity yeah. now, or you can just rely uh, on jumping out of the way. Oh, uh, but It's so a 21 to hit. Oh, I'm so drunk. Oh, my beak is numb. But as I see this ball moving towards me, I don donned my mask and activate my rage. Which way? Um, dark Queen Duck. Dark Queen Duck. Um, and I will try and crush it that way okay. if I can. Uh, yes, I will recklessly attack. Oh. Okay. The yes. AC is 21. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to bend your luck. Oh, my what? God. And uh, you down. subtract a 1 from it. Gosh. Okay. I think it hits no matter what. Oh, yeah. 12 plus what? I think it's 12 plus 8. Which is not a hit. Which would that gives you the 20. Yeah, it's plus 8. And then minus three. 1 is 19. So you hit a 19. Now you need to roll a uh, saving throw to see if you get killed instantly. <laughs> well, I <laughs> am at an advantage on saving yeah, yeah, throws. Yeah. Is it a deck save? Yeah. Yes. Deck yes, right. it is. So what, I have to beat a 20? Yes. And I have a plus 4? For what? The deck save? Uh, on Quake? Dex is plus 4 yeah. on Quake, yeah. Was that on set? You're at six. six. Okay. Well, okay. You have a plus four, so you need a sixteen. What's that one set? Nine. <laughs> you have to twist these. If you oh, want. oh, oh. Yeah. You I twist now have these? twists, yes. But the twists are just one additional reroll. You what don't do you get need to Jesus? Sixteen or higher. Twist again. Yes, sir. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> natural yeah. one. All right, we've had a rough time. I'm gonna yeah, this you one. don't use that die. I just like that die. You're not so big. Use the obsidian. One. That's so cool. No, What's that one. We keep All going. Right. All right. All right. Oh yeah. Pull the twist. You Pull the twist. You got it. You got it. Seventeen. Did right? you get it? Hold on. No, it's an eight. <laughs> I don't know why. It, looked, it really looked like a seventeen from there. <laughs> Holy shit! Were you there? Yeah, no, I was one over. How many? Oh, okay. What is that? How many twists? That's a five. He's only on one left. No, that was the last one. That was the last one. He's quick dead. Joe Holy was so right! Shit. Joe was so right! Chad said, Queek is gonna die because Mace is the person who really quick. I'm the nicest duck you've ever met. Or a twisted fucking thing. Okay, alright. So, so Queek is eviscerated. The ball, the ball flies towards uh, Feathers uh, Queek. Feathers explode and, uh, in all Queek, directions. Just like all of you is wearing this belt. And it seems like the belt and the uh, ringer interact at the same time. And what was a uh, duck explodes into feathers and viscera and violence in all directions, revealing the essence of Queek, a soul on the inside. And you see it get pulled into the ringer as it continues on its path. Yeah, because so, it's at 
20 yeah, yeah. there, right? So it's so it goes to 20 uh, after it collides with Queek. And then uh, give me a D8 roll, Derek, but re-roll 7, 6, or 5. Three. It's going directly east. So it will be 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Give me another roll. Don't re-roll. Uh, three, four, five. Seven. Back. Uh, what, what did I say? Uh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And it comes to rest. And you can see it crackling with this energy. It seems to have been suffused by Queek's essence. Queek is off the board. I'm sorry, Mace. You showed up to play games and you just get absolutely destroyed. It took me an hour to make this, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> and then it took me 10 I watched minutes you do to it. just mash I watched you do it. Voice. I don't know right? what to tell you. I, I miss Jean-Claude. I'm sorry. Uh, I know. Once Jean-Claude died, yeah. it was really all over. I say, I say, I say. What does it say? When the sun has set, no candle can replace it. Oh, that's, damn. That's, that's a cool so sad. Say that's so wasted. sad. Yep. Um, Glitzy, good turn. The walrus. It's the walrus's turn. <laughs> Holy shit, that was violent! Yes, it was quite gross when I did it, too. As the ball hit Queek, Glitzy would have said, Boom. And she just looks really sad. <laughs> Damn. She just looks really sad. Hardcore. Boom. Boom. Love it. Oh, wow. Boom. It's Lexi actually understood the reference. Holy shit, we got some real ones in here. Um, oh god, what do I even do here? I told you, I predicted this. <laughs> so if I shoot with the spell, what, yeah. what happens? The same like, thing that would happen. Just like you, you, just just you, roll, you roll a spell, uh, you, yeah, yeah, you, you have to be hit, able to hit it. The damage it, it automatically it fails saving throws, you do damage to it, and then you can kind of pick a dam uh, direction that would be reasonable for you to shoot it into, right? Like, you can't make it come back towards yourself. Right, it's gotta yeah, be... Think, think momentumly. You know, um, or you could move and change your angle, right? I could move, but I kind of like this spot. I don't blame you. I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm going to wait and see how things go. And I am... What's the range on this? 90 feet, 5 foot radius. Mm -hmm. 30 foot cone. Um, I'm going to just shoot uh, a frost. Uh, Mace, if you want, you can play Tank Hammerfall for a while. You can be one of the announcers. Ray Frost at it. Let's just come behind the desk with you and we just do the announcements. <laughs> yeah, 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 come on over here. <laughs> no, if you want to yell out announcements, I'm, I can be this guy and you can be the other guy. What's do the other guy's voice? All I have to do is talk like an announcer like this. All I have to do is talk like an announcer like this. Yes. yes. Very it's exciting game. Tank Hammerfall. That's good. right. 17 points of damage. It's 25 total. And I'm going to send it... Uh, if it comes here, I'll send it. So, I think generally it would bounce here. Oh, yeah. Um, if yeah, that, that changes way. your thought process. And then this would bounce here? Yeah, come yeah, up. yeah. But past you, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will send it. <laughs> I'll send it this way. Sure. Uh... <laughs> Uh, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Rip tank hammer yeah. fall. That's so true. And a tragic announcing accident. The walrus is also playing it cautious. They've all seen how deadly the ringer is. Twitter? Oh, shucks! That reminds me of our Peking duck special of Sundays. <laughs> she got roasted. Jesus. The, the delightful assortment of spices. <laughs> That's right, we're upscale. We have duck. It's your turn. Oh, it's my turn! <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't, I just, just rolled one. I just rolled one. Rolled one. <laughs> one, two. Gosh. Can I do it in any direction? Any direction that's reasonable, right? yeah, yeah. You can you can send it in any of seven directions. Can't send it like back towards yourself, right? Right. Cool. Wait, I was here, right? No, you were right, right on here. the car. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think actually, do I have more movement because I'm a barbarian? Well, and you have more if you do yeah. one and a half, three. Oh yeah. Four and a half. Yeah, I'm just gonna go right up here. Six. Yeah. Uh, so if I hit it 
this way, right? Yeah, we'll roll a d8 to determine if it goes which way. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw my wizard staff magic! I cast wizard staff! <laughs> uh, here we go! Shucks, I hit it! I'm gonna try to, as it gets, it's gonna, oh, I gotta see how much damage I do. Hold on, I gotta not get shitty dice for that. Boop. It's probably gonna be even worse than I remember. D6 plus a D, where's the D, my D12s? Shucks, I'm just riffing for a while, I don't know it was my turn. Oh, shucks, not very much. Seven plus uh, uh, five, that's 12. 20 total. So your second hit just has to be to 20 if you're hitting it again. Okay, shucks, let's try it again. I throw it again! It does beat a 20, it's a 20 something. Yeah. This could nice. be very bad. 12 plus 7. 19? 19. 39. 39! Uh, and you're hitting it into this corner? Is it gonna hit me? Well, <laughs> no, no, so, well, it, it could potentially pass through us, but what'll happen is if it goes here, Derek will roll. I'll need a 7, an 8, or a 1, so if you'd rather do it where you roll a d6 and divide by 3, we do, you know, or. I'll just set it in the corner. Yeah, yeah okay. What? So we're gonna do 38, 37. Mm -hmm. Let me write that down. Derek, roll a d6 oh. for me and tell me what you get. <clears throat> One. Uh, that's this. So it's going to go this way. So it's just going to uh, go here, which is going to be 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Uh, roll another d8 for me. Three. I'm sorry. One. Uh, Reroll. It bounced in a weird manner. Five. 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. Uh, roll for me. Another d d8? Yes. Three. Twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, d8. Shucks, it's bouncing all over the place. Eight. This is just like one of the games we had in the arcade. Uh, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, one more d8. 7. 8. 13, 14, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 10, 15. Uh, and I'm just going to try to crush this thing. And you still thunder a smite. I do. Um, so that's going to hit for sure, which is a... Yeah, because it's plus 8, so I hit no matter what, right? Yeah, you basically have to not get a 1. So it's going to be 2d6 plus 1d10 for the paddle. I have to use the paddle, right? Yeah. That's nice. Uh, that's going to be 7, 10, 16, plus 5 is 21 points of damage, which is 29. I can't hit it unless I crit. I'll just try to do my second attack. Mm -hmm. I do not. Um, and I'm sending it this direction. Okay. Uh, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, Walrus, you have your reaction if you like, 13. 13. That'll scatter, right? Yeah. That could come back. It could. Uh, Highly unlikely. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm gonna let it pass. Sure. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, okay. 8. Uh, that was Bad Bar's turn. Oh, let's see up. Let's see. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, the, the fairy is making her moves, Tank. Um, I'm going to charge up my um, my glitter bombs again, and I'm going to shoot the thing directly towards uh, Gary. Gary, 64. Oh, shucks. I'm going to look towards Babar, and I'm going to be like, trying to send it home, buddy. And uh, I guess I have to do it one at a time. 15 plus 8, so that's 23. Okay. Um, 8 plus 8 is 16, so the second one misses. Okay. First one hits. And that's gonna go... Oh, I'm stupid. That's not... 10. So it'll be 18. 
So hold on. You rolled a. The first one hit. Did you roll damage for that first one? That's the ten. Yeah, that's that's the that's the ten. Because I wrote down twenty three. That's only eighteen. So what was your second attack roll? 16. My second attack oh. roll was sixteen. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Because I had written down twenty three, but that was a, not the damage. Yeah. So it's eighteen to move the ball. Seventeen, sixteen, uh, fifteen, fourteen. I am going to use my reaction and crush this motherfucker. I know what you're doing. Directly towards Gary. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I look as as I see you fire off these blasts and you say what you say to me. I look you in the eye and I say, "Alley oop." <laughs> Boom. I knew a lady named Alley oop once. <laughs> yes, it's uh, fifteen. Twelve plus eight is twenty to hit. Yeah. Uh, that definitely hits. hits. I'm sorry. Might come in the marker. Oh. Yeah, oh, it marker. definitely hits. And is it as soon as it enters my range, or is it as soon as it... Your reach. My reach, okay. Which is a lot. Um, I'm going to smite this. First level or second level? I'm thinking, I'm thinking second. It's gonna let her rip. We don't have a lot of time here. Uh, on, I don't, I don't know if I've made a lot, a lot of opportunities on these bad boys. Uh, so that's gonna be what, 3d8s? For a second level smite? Mm-hmm. So the D8 plus the D10 plus the five is going to be. I will roll the smites first. Uh, that's 13. It was 15. So 13 plus another eight is Ooh. 21. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, plus the 10 from the paddle. That's nine. 30. Which is going to be 30 plus five is 35 on top of the 15, which is now 50. <laughs> 49. Oh, actually, no. You could probably hit it from 15 feet away. Yep. 49. Is the AC? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, shucks. I got to crush this thing. Okay. I'm just going to twist it until I get a natural 20. I'm using so you're using reaction to hit it first, and you've missed, or you are oh, just trying twist. to dodge? He's twisting to hit He's it. twisting He's to hit it. I'm just twisting to hit it. You're twisting to hit it. Twisting to hit rather than twisting to dodge. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh, no. Man, fishing for crits. Uh, this was two. This is so Jean Luc. <sighs> Double oh. sevens. Two double elevens. elevens. Double sevens, double elevens. Crazy. Last one? Nope. My last one. Elevens. Oh, oh, eleven. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> Gary, I hardly knew you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that just... I can't stop that, right? I am you allowing... I am allowing oh, you, you to crit. Oh, you got one more try. You get, you've got a, a saving throw. This is it. Your advantage, you're a barbarian. <gasps> oh! A ten. Oh, it's a ten. No. No, not oh. enough. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this, can can uh, we talk about the fact that it's the original characters that are the last it's of the unbelievable. Right The yeah. ringer flies through the air, exploding uh, uh, Gary 64 into uh, mechanical pieces. You see uh, uh, leatherette and fur and uh, uh, all of the pieces that made him what he was, flying in all directions, but there's a kindling on the inside, an essence of thisness that once was Gary, and it is swallowed, absorbed <gasps> by the damn. ringer as it flies past, and like a sonic boom, smashes into the opposite wall before continuing to bounce. There's my Gary is no so more. So now, uh, Mikey and I together have just absolutely rended through characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming it scatters off of his uh, exploded corpse. Oh yeah, it should, right? I Why think not? So. Let's I mean, go. Oh, uh, give explode. me a one. It's going right back the other direction, which is going to be uh, 44, 43, 44, 42, 40? 41, 40. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28. Uh. Are we bouncing or is it going just right back the other direction? Just bouncing. Uh, I'm sorry? Just bounce. 20, right back, yeah. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And that's where it comes to rest. 20, 25, 30. Yeah, Whoa! G4RY64! Whoa. He's, <laughs> he's out! He's done! There's no more! Oh. 
Well, I guess it's fair. Thank you. Seem a little quiet. Is that me? You want me to tank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have some more whiskey. I know you don't normally witness death, what but yes, because you don't live in my district. What is this character's name? Tank Hammerfall, and no, I'm Verit Day. Verit. Verit. Indeed, Verit. Well, Verit, absolutely. Glitzy with uh, Glitzy and Babar now with the first two confirmed kills <laughs> on the field. Unbelievable day in Fleen. I think I heard Babar say alley oop right before he spiked it into Gary's chest. That was a very cool thing to say. <laughs> Not very <laughs> respectful. He's taken to the deathmatch portion of this very easily. <laughs> Um, whose turn was that? That was, was Glitzy's, turn. Glitzy's turn. Since Walrus, Walrus, you're up. I look at Glitzy, and I'll say, Look, I've never been athletic. My uncle always told me I didn't have the makings of a varsity athlete. That's really funny. Yeah? I think we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, what for, do you want to do? For Jean-Claude. Okay. We need to team up. Okay. The last two members of the Mighty Trunks. Wait, you want me to turn against Babar? Uh, I want us to both kill Babar. That's exactly right. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I can do that, Babar. Oh, oh, no. Don't look at me like that. I must do what I must do. I'm not going to stop you, buddy, but I don't <laughs> know if I can help you. I take my magical Ice King wand, and I'll point it out. You're flying high with me, <laughs> Freebirds. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot Ray of Frost. Uh, just, just a cantrip. Just a little, just a little, little, little cantrip. Sure. A little cantrip. Okay. Interesting. I mean, you can just buy a ball and you get a snowball one. I mean, you know, they just love him with me. I, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's truly a 22. It's truly a to hit damage? damage? Oh, yeah, you got me. Well, you see, he's got a very high uh, saving throw, so we gotta go for spell attacks for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points of frost damage, mm -hmm. and your speed is reduced by 10 feet. Oh, man, no save? No oh, save. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's really okay. nice. All right, all right. Uh, and then I'm gonna move back. I remember this. Towards the end, you become like an animal, and you turn on everyone and everything. They have certainly begun to turn on each other, Barry. We haven't seen this since the Fleen Championships in 32. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was very funny. <laughs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> Babar, you're up. Yeah. You get your reaction back. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, yeah. Corner. I'll uh, eliminate him and eliminate him. <laughs> Area Queek eliminated. Oh, God. Queek. Poor Queek. She flew too close to the song. Son of a I'll, I'll wait for Avantress and Chill to talk about what, why Queek was in prison. That's, that's very weird. funny. <laughs> a riot. Uh, I will use 20 feet of movement. And as a bonus action, I will Misty Step directly on top of the Walrus. <laughs> was that, how, is it 30 feet? Yeah, it's 5, 10. And then three more is only One, five. One, two, three and a half. Four and a half, five and a half. Four, yeah, okay. Four. And I will attack you twice. The first one will be an 18 to hit. Well, much more higher than that, 26 to hit. The next one will be a 19 to hit. Shield! <laughs> you know, Tank, it's been more than six years and we've never had a battle royale on this channel before. They're, they've completely forgotten the ball. They're just turning on each other. We are no longer playing Fleen, we are just playing Slapstick. That makes sense. After all, the ball only goes in eight directions, but fists and swords, they can go anywhere. So it's only one hit? or one you? Hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to smite that one. Jesus. Uh, do I still have to use the regular paddle, or do I get to use my regular <laughs> weapon? Use your, we you, uh, use your weapon. All right. Uh, the 2d8s for the smite damage. Is that first level smite? Yes. Uh, so that's 12... 
Uh, then another seven is nineteen plus five is twenty-four points of damage. Oh fuck! Oh. I killed Jean Claude for you. I killed him for you. You ungrateful little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only sound that comes out of the wall right when he's struck by a powerful boy. Oh, oh, oh. That is my uh, that is my turn. I only have two spell slots left. Spell oh slots left. yeah, half calendars are fun, 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 glitzy. Stop it! Stop fighting! And I'm gonna throw a fireball on him. <laughs> I love it! Shit. Holy shit! I love that. Don't make me do this again, okay? You <laughs> Just let it go. Incredible. I'm nothing in pit now. Uh, so you both have to make a dexterity saving throw. I love this. And I'm empowering the spell. I got a natural 20 for a 26. So you will take half the damage. It's 16, right? Uh, it is, uh, I believe it's a 16. Let me just double check. Should be. I pass. Um, I'm doing it third level. I'm wasting my 20s. Uh, I know. Yeah, 16. And so it is Shows. how many d6s? Eight. Can uh, I get some d6s? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My dears. Eight d6. Five, right, six, seven, eight. No, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you got them all. Keep Damn. this one. I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one. I'll re-roll these ones. Better. Yeah. Um, so it is going to be... 20, 32. Woo, so 16 total points of damage. Holy shit, what an explosion. They should call her an unfairy. <laughs> <laughs> we are engulfed in absolute <laughs> fire. This is dissolved <laughs> into a complete bloodbath, Varret, but that was very funny. That's why they, well, I, it's just it's just Varret. We should just get to play in the game. We just let, we just let it decide for us. You don't want his blood on your hands. We were friends once! Sure, oh. we all gonna die, but at least let the ball decide! <laughs> What's wrong with ya? <laughs> oh. I had 30 oh. days! I had 30 days for that beacon! <laughs> I'm gonna avenge you one way or another! Uh. You look like you're about to die literally right now! You were already 90! T- oh, yes, that's true! I took a lot of damage just now! That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure, treat me too! Uh, I'm going to face step. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, and a half, or let's see, one. Does that ignore attacks of opportunity? Yes. You need to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. That's fun. Wisdom saving throw. Sure. Eladrin are fun. They are fun. It's also a very good Disney film. Is it against being charmed or frightened? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, 17. That pass... Mikey, you can be Barrett if you want to. Is this for him oh, to be able wow. to hit you? This is for him not being able to move... Uh, towards me. Did you ever see the film The Ladrin? Would I know that that's what you're trying to do? I must have missed that one, preventing him to be able to get yeah, it. He's he's very he's shocking. Using, there was a blue genie. And take it was very similar to oh, the shit. genie Stop betting on these games. Stop it, I'm telling you, you're the game the way it's supposed to be. It's a four, minus a four. I will cash in a twist. It will still be minus four yeah. to all of your rolls. Sure. Oh, that's a 19. Minus that four fails. is 15. 15. That fails. I'll allow it. Bear Bar, I'm sorry. I mean, you, we it. can do this. We can do this Dissolve. another way. Tank. Oh. It always dissolves into a bloodbath. <laughs> the things that I've seen, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so it's what the is reason exactly why I drink know. Red Spider whiskey. Our sponsor today. <laughs> Whenever I have a long day of horrible flashbacks to whatever I'm referencing. I love drinking Red Spider Whiskey. It's a great smooth taste at half the cost of competitors. That's Red Spider Whiskey. Here's your uh, bag of gold, Mr. Day. 
<laughs> oh. oh, thank you. I wonder if the... Tank, do you ever wonder if the clients are going to let us go after this is over? Or are we going to be uh, thrown onto the sacrificial altar? Well, Varen, I really haven't given it too much thought. Uh, I really just hope that it is... Uh, we're freed. And they put us right back where they found us. Uh, to be fair, you never really give anything much uh. thought, do you? Well, that's very hurtful, Varen. <laughs> well, the truth stings. I guess it's true what they say. Oh, why don't you just drink up another glass of that red spider ale? Uh, another f- tall, frothing glass of red spider so, whiskey, not ale. Ale oh. whiskey. Ale whiskey. <laughs> ale whiskey. Aged in ale casks. Is it supposed to be frothing like that? Uh, that may. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a, a boiler maker right now. <laughs> It's delicious. You put a shot of whiskey in the beer, and then, then you pass out. Uh, I am going to bef- before I duck behind cover here. I'm going to shoot another ray of frost. I think. Sure. The walrus, come on! Glitzy's trying to convince them not to fight, but you have to understand that from Babar's point of view, the walrus is I'll, evil. I'll twist it. <laughs> from my point of view, I'll twist it. <laughs> There's a lot of twists. 17? 18 is my armor. I'll twist it. That's a lot of twists he's got to go through. There we go. Uh, and it's only just for... Uh, That's why we have him. Tank. This is a bold strategy, Varit. Let's see how it plays out. Tank, is your name Hammerfall? 15 Remind points me. of cold damage. Yes. Are you, my last name. Are you named after the power metal band Hammerfall? And so you're, you know? you're afraid of me until the end of my next turn, and you are... What? Uh, wait, wait, I, I asked if it was against fear. No, you said against being charmed. And fear. Yeah, charmed and fear. Oh. I have an advantage against it. Okay. So then you can roll again, I guess, right? For the fairy stuff? Yeah. Is yeah. that what did it, or is the raid what did it? No, the raid reduces my movement speed by 10. Oh. If the ability is advantage, then he has to re-roll. Yeah, so just roll, roll one more die. And I twisted. Yeah, so you rolled two die. A 19 plus 8, 27. Yeah, that will yeah. do it. That does it. So that fails, but I will, yeah. So the damage and then you are, your speed is reduced by 10. Roger. Things are getting very sweaty down here in wherever this arena is. Uh, they not listening to us reason, and they gagged us. I tried, buddy, I, I tried. I knew that this is exactly what was going to happen. Babar. Glitzy is just crying. Yeah. Um, Mascara? Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. As an action, I'm going to use all 30 points of my lay on hands. Ah. <laughs> Oh wow, you bopped up all the way, I'm assuming. Uh, no. That's the whole thing. No, no, I was pretty low. Oh, wow. Um, then I have 20 feet of movement. Is that still true? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was the matter what. That was a separate wow. thing. Wow. Shut that up was the no matter what. Uh... Oh. Man, if only they had pl- Plane fl- I can't believe how quickly both Gary and Queek died to the ball. <laughs> yeah, really an upsetting showing out of those two. I mean, just instantaneous. I can't believe that these three have la- are so durable. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else has been like They're tissue paper first. in comparison. Yeah. Mikey and I have each played five characters, I think. That That's true. Absolutely and I had to good. borrow one from Nikki. <laughs> That's true. I ran out so Real fast. Quick, what gives you advantage on being on fear? Uh, Against being charmed or aura protection uh, is not that. It is this one. I'm going to click on it. Oh. It might be racial. I don't know. Maybe it upgrade because here it doesn't say that, but that's weird. Uh, locks it on Serenity. I have advantage on saving throws oh, against being charmed or frightened. Oh, it's a Oh, that's <laughs> fucking amazing. Wow. Who would have thought 
that Loxodon was so wise. I once went on a seven day bender with B. Yancey Zer. God, that man was anything but wise. Um, and then I think I have to see you to be able to do the other thing I want to do. Move behind cover. My favorite part of this whole competition was watching Glup Shido get vaporized. <laughs> and the screams that he made will live with me in my fondest dreams and memories. He really did have a very yeah, specific howl to him. That's Maybe my turn. recreate it. Okay. Uh, Glitzy, you're up. Sorry, I mean the piece of chicken before I die. <laughs> uh, I think you're in good shape right now. <laughs> Sorry, I, I went to a Witcher 3 place as soon as you're eating. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you're eating chicken and fighting at the same time. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do. Because you're not gonna stop fighting each other, and at the end of the day, one of these gonna die, and then I'm gonna have to deal with the last of you. That's right. Or you're both gonna turn on me. So. I'm really sorry about this, guys. And I'm gonna cast Nelthair's Mischief on top of both of them. Whoo! What's that do? Damn. What does um, that do? Two second a level. It is a oh, it is charmed. Um, and it's a twenty foot cube, so it should be able to reach them. Definitely no. No. Oh yeah, twenty well, foot cube. One, two, it. three, four. It would need to basically. It, no, it would, if it was here. One, two, three, four. It can either get. Oh, it's oh, oh it's, it's 25, a, yeah, 20 20 on something side. in a 24 radius. I got you. Okay, well, I'm going to do it on Bad Bar because he's the ten. healthiest. Sorry, buddy. Um, and then wow. it's I roll a d4. What's the save? determines. It uh, depends. Oh. Um, a wisdom saving throw. Lots of the dogs are good at that. Tank. It's all charm? Uh, um, or is the effect dependent on the d4? Yeah, they're all charm. Okay. Yeah, it's all charm. You know what they say about loxodons? They never forgive, and they can't is be charmed. Yeah, and it does nothing. They never forget to kill. That's what they say. Hey, well, I tried. That's all I got. Wow. Who and then would have thought gonna... a pixie would be mischievous? Tank, what do you think about that? Well, I definitely did not see that coming. What has really impressed me is how quickly... Uh, they have turned to just killing each other with <laughs> Queek and <laughs> Gary dead. It was all fun and games, and when those two went down, well, uh, here we are. It seems as soon as Babar murdered Gary, all the gloves <laughs> were off and all bets were off. <laughs> Once he hit that ball with the righteous uh. fear of a thousand burning suns, there was no going back, Barrett. That's true. I think that once the walrus saw the bar murder uh, Jean-Claude Chanticleer, there was never any outcome besides this. It was always going to come to this. I mean, Jean-Claude, what a stand-up guy, you know? Yes, exactly right. And Jean-Claude didn't get liquefied, but you know who did? <laughs> Glup shit out. He's already tired of liquidy anyway. Uh, turn of the... uh, uh, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Glitch oh, oh, I'm sorry God. if I didn't yell that loud enough. I was listening to the well, I was listening to the announcers. RPG. It's all good. I'm just gonna keep going because there's gonna be a lot yeah. of meta gaming. This here, runs so itself now. All I have to do is occasionally make a judgment. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, one, two. one and a half, two and a half. Uh, so first, I'm going to uh, wave my wand around and my crown will light up and I will use a sorcery point to make Rhymes Binding Ice a bonus Ooh, action. Nice. So I cast a cone, it's a con save, 16. Ooh. Speaking, I'm gonna twist. Fourteen is probably not enough. I'm gonna twist. It's a sixteen. Uh, it's a sixteen. He says. So just sixteen. Well, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm using them now because yeah. I'm not lasting much longer. That's there a nineteen. Uh, so you take half of eighteen. Woo. Nine points. I'm a trouble here. I was never a math magician. And then I am going to cast. Um, my action will be casting the cantrip again, Ray of Frost. Yeah.
18 plus. That's plenty. Eight, nine, nine. Uh, speaking of glup shitto and being liquefied, I was... 11 points of cold damage. Our new sponsor, Florbo Floptavius Flop Fiber Pills. <laughs> I had nothing but painful... <laughs> Painful, violent diarrhea Jesus. for months until I took Florbo Floptavius fiber pills. And now I'm as regular as the sunrise and sunset. Thanks, Florbo. I can ride a bike again. <laughs> That's incredible. It was just tricky that first day. You looked like an empty Capri Sun. The walrus has is using his namesake power, ice, in order to dominate the slower Loxodon, who's ha, he's focused mostly yeah. on brawn, not mind powers of speed. I'll tell you this right now, okay, I that's my turn to fudge my score at his mini golf course. <laughs> that's <laughs> for sure. I Blank. fudge my pants. You have to make another <laughs> wisdom saving throw as you move through. Floor no on your turn. Oh, oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, it stays oh, wow. for a minute. Florbo, yeah. Florbo <laughs> Flontavius is fiber pill. 20? Yeah, you pass. It's just 16. <laughs> and Babar is out for blood as he chases down like a stampeding elephant that he is. They do call Babar the king of elephants. Uh, I use my action to dash. He is sprinting now, full charge. And he is a, charging down the field. As a bonus action. All I can do is try to abjure enemy. Uh, you'll just have to make a wisdom saving 15 saving throw. Uh, or otherwise uh, be frightened and your speed is reduced to zero. Natural 20. Yeah, you're good. Oh, That's my turn. I mean, he's got a million twists. It's over. I'm done, so. It's a Bad game. is not long for this world. Oh, this is desperate. Oh, Let's see. Um, I'm going to drop a fireball on top of them at a level three. Whoa! Whoa! What's the range on that? It's like 120 feet. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. If I'm not, it's 90. It. And even if you it's, a hundred, it, it's 150 feet. Yeah, you can like just put it here, oh. too. And so it's, it's 100 what? It's just, it's 150, it's 150 feet. feet. I mean, there's no, the whole map's on 100. Yeah. Feet. Correct. Yeah. Um, oh, things are suddenly. So that's a deck saving throw. With how cold things are getting with the walrus's powers, now Glitzy is coming in with the bomb. Oof, I'm gonna twist that. It's a tale of ice and fire. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say, <laughs> Other Barrett. <bear. laughs> I'm gonna twist that. Yeah, indeed, it was <laughs> a tale of ice and fire. 16. Oh, that year. I oh we've been cloned with the horrible uh, dark I'm gonna twist your clients. Yeah. <laughs> and and now I got an 18. So the many-headed syndicate is minus truly. 22. I'm still gonna use it. Okay. It's minus one. I said I used it before I knew what you had. That's what half had. of. So you're going to take half of, and then I'm going to... That's a lot of damage. Meta magic it. Oh, Jesus. It's empowered spell. To re-roll what, ones and twos? To re-roll up to five of the die. Oh, any ones you want. Jesus, that's yeah. pretty good. That's freaking wild. If you're taking the risk. I might be done so here. So Other variant, how are you feeling about this? Because you are you getting memories back to raw time in the ring? I am. I am. <laughs> oh, it's just like I remember. You know, thirty-eight points of damage. So half of that is what? 18? Wait, thirty-eight? Mm-hmm. Nineteen. Yep. Yeah, nineteen points of damage. Not looking good. You see, <gasps> as oh, we've got this, Glitchy. We can do it. Me and you. <laughs> oh, no! As I fall unconscious. I'm so oh. sorry. Oh, good. I told you to stop fighting with the bombs. Holy shoot. shit! What was I supposed to do? Varit one and Varit two. Oh. It is down to just Glitchy and Babar left here. And he is all the way across the map. Things are not looking good. Unless you're glitzy, of course. I move forward five feet <laughs> as I raise my maul to cave in the walrus's oh head. Oh, God! Is, does anyone have a raincoat? And I attack twice. <laughs> is there anything I need to do special if you're unconscious on the ground? Um, you roll advantage. advantage. You roll advantage. You, 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 you just need to hit and twice. 20 to hit? Yeah, it has. A million to hit. Yep. That'll do it. 
Is that coup? Coup de gras? Yeah. How's he gonna get out of the- Oh! God, what's oh. he doing? I Why killed John claude for you! <laughs> you smash into oh. the body of the walrus, oh. and um, you feel the coldness, not just in the uh, uh, air around you, but in wow. your very soul, as you uh, begin to take your allies' lives in this desperate fight for godhood, perhaps, but also just to survive. I, uh, after covered in, in viscera and charred uh, from all of the, the attacks you've done, I am looking savaged. I, I look like I don't, I'm not gonna hold on much longer. As I look to you and I say, What's done is done. You can easily kill me from there before I can close distance. The choice will be yours, but I will move towards the ball. And I move 10 feet towards the ball using the rest of my movement. And I end my turn. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna cast, uh, use uh, one of my spell slots to regain two sorcery points, and I'm gonna <laughs> cast my last third level fireball on top of the bar. I only had 30 days! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be here today! <laughs> oh, oh my god! And then I'm gonna roll use. It all. Yeah. And then I'm gonna roll, roll it again. It. So it's a D, uh, it's a 16, but. I mean, if you roll high enough. Yeah, I can't even. I can't say it. There's something I can save against. Jeez. Well, after the walrus's brains got splattered everywhere, I sure, I bet the bar is wishing he had a rain jacket. That he could have picked up a very affordable and stylish jacket at Harbor 31. Authority. <laughs> as this as this fireball rains in on me. I drop to my knees and I and the maul falls from my hands and I say. Friends, brother, I tried so hard. This is the end. There is nothing left but me for judgment in the nine hells and against Gigantus Elephantris Solustris. <laughs> As I close my eyes and the fire engulfs me and I fall unconscious. Oh my god. <sighs> You fall to the ground, uh, and you watch as the Loxodon body of Babar uh, falls uh, backwards, landing in a heap against the charred grass, what would normally be a brilliant, lush, healthy green. Instead, a round, uh, chaotic blob of brown and black and ash. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Babar. What, I need a 20 to get up? Yep. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you, yeah, 20 would stabilize you. He's got a lot of twists. <laughs> <He's got> 17. <laughs> you can't twist death saves. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you, no, no, I don't you did it. Oh, oh, you did it. Oh, we did allow it. We did allow it. Did just you? just this one. Though. Just this one. Okay, yeah, that's fair. This is fucking John, it's John Luke. Did it? Yeah, yeah. sure. John Luke will see you in hell, my <laughs> 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 I'm using him up. There's nothing left. Yeah, might as well. Oh! That's not true, oh! <laughs> when all I, of I a sudden one hit point, you see, and then another fireball is gonna come in and you blast see my trunk. ass. You see this trunk? You have a turn. <clears throat> Get it up, Babar. It is your turn. You have one hit point. So I use half my movement to stand up. That's right. <laughs> what does this look like? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I I'm gonna need a bill. Look at me, <laughs> now my eyes flutter and I think, is this death? Is there an afterlife? And I smell the charred grass and I see the walrus's battered, disturbed body and I say, fuck, the gods are not done with me yet. And I will attempt to make two attacks on this horrific flame fall. Your ball. vision's blurring. Your Jesus Christ. Your uh, 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 warhammer is heavy, heavy in your hands, but you put all your strength into... Uh, 17 to hit. Whoa! <coughs> Tank! I can't believe Babar got back up! Is an elephant literally too angry to die? 
<laughs> it certainly seems that way. After that explosion, I didn't think you'd know what area code uh, he was in. And I'm just gonna smite it. I got nothing else to do here. I mean, I'm like, I'm really. Might as well. Gods, I love a good game 12. of flail. I prefer it when uh, they don't die so plus much. Plus the 10 from the paddle. There's another 6, that's 18. Plus 5 is 23, plus the original 8 is 31. And I'm just gonna send it this way. And just try to send it towards Blitzy and see what happens. But, you know, hey, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 25. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And I, and I, and, and again, I, I look to Glitzy and I say, End this! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> um. Oh, God. Holy Do it! <laughs> <laughs> They have lost all uh, semblance of humanity on the court out there. It is really turning into. Um, I am I don't going know to. I can't do any more fireballs. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna. I'm going from a million to. Million miles away. I'm gonna hurl a chromatic orb at you. Oh, so, okay. Um, Hell yeah. And it's going it's to be spell. fire damage. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, you need to do a. Is it force and fire? Oh no, I roll for it. Um. I rolled a hit you with it. 15 plus 8, so a 23 to hit. Let's do it. <laughs> um, I hurl a 4 inch diameter sphere of energy and that, I, that I can see. Uh, it, you take 3 8 damage. Uh, oh, eight that's just not enough. <laughs> I survived. Somehow, he survived. Um, he's got that poppy passive where he's, when he's at 1, he can't die. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a twist. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, we, I mean, I can just try to get back up. But. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 21. As I hurl it at you, I'm like, I'm only doing this to put you out of your misery, Papa! And I hurl it at him. I mean, unless you I can do 59 say. points of damage and kill me outright. I can't. Okay. Uh, I drop unconscious. Uh. I've got four twists, which is five total attempts to roll a natural 20. Okay, it's your turn. That's my one roll and a twist. Yeah, I should be rolling, sorry. And down he goes again. Last one? Nope. 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 Will Take he get last up? One. Oh! <laughs> I roll an actual one. <laughs> no! Ah! Yeah. Yeah. My charred... I have no hair left. There's no hair, like, anywhere on me. My charred body... I... I... Again, I... I, uh, I use the fleet fall paddle to stand. First at my knees. <sighs> Uh, uh, stand up. <laughs> Let's see! <laughs> Papa, why do you keep getting up, buddy? <laughs> the gods are not done with me yet. You must have really pissed someone off to make them put you through this many deaths. The devils and the hells do not want me. <laughs> <laughs> Muster yourself, steal yourself, and fight! I have As I stumble 15 feet forward. <laughs> <laughs> and I use my action to stumble another 15 feet forward. Well, uh, this is you just yeah, you're 30, terrific. You're 30. No, I have to stand up, I lose half 15 times. But dash on the action. You can make your are reduced. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know he's a bar, but bar is not to the hates list. <laughs> no, no, no. He looks like a right now. I'm using the flea fall paddle to like steady me, like almost like a like a like a crutch. <laughs> I feel so bad about this! But just know that your memory lives on in me. What is the one thing that if I become a goddess like they say they will, what can I do for you? You want me to bring your brother back? Yes! Okay. Yes! Bring right. him back! Send me to the hells for all of the evil that I have perpetrated! I'm trying! <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right! <laughs> Goodbye, buddy! And she's, she's gonna blow you a kiss, and as it flies towards you, it's gonna start swirling into an orb of fire, and she's gonna chromatic orb fire you again. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> that landed on coins. Uh, so that is going to be uh, 22. Oh, just to hit. <laughs> Well, I'm trying. <laughs> I have one twist left. I have one twist left. Holy uh, shit. And that's doing 12 points of damage to you. All right. I go to the top of zero. <laughs> I, have, I have my one death saving throw, and I have one twist. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> is it 18? I was like, I swear to god, if that was a natural 20. Here it is, this is it. This is it. No good. No good. That bar it's a one has a death saving throw. Has one death, has one failed uh, save. And now you can just finish me off. That's true. Uh, as, the fi- as this final attack comes in, I, I uh, again brace myself for impact, and, and that bar uh, utters a small prayer to himself, and and he says, finally, perhaps this will be my time. <laughs> and then he falls unconscious. I'm gonna fail saving throw. Uh, no, you succeeded. The, the, fir- the first one was an 18. Oh. Oh! oh I just didn't get a 20. Okay. All right. I have one success. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta deal some damage here. I'm getting back up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, let's see, is gonna move towards you. Yeah, um, probably good idea. Uh, 30 feet. <laughs> well, is he's not within 60 feet. Yeah. Well, probably pretty darn close. But if you have to move like 10 feet to get there, so be it. Six. You need to literally just go here. Yeah. So uh, let's see, we'll go there, and you'll see your hands start to ignite um, with glitter bombs, and she's going to let loose two Eldritch Blasts. You're both disadvantaged. Um, yeah, but I got twists. <laughs> That's true. Um, Out the wazoo. And so, uh, yeah. So I'll use a twist. Wow, that's three, so I'll use another twist. <laughs> what's, what's your AC? 18. Wait, does that apply when he's down? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he's wearing the armor. Yeah. Ra- range attacks for advantage against- when the target's I'll prone. One, yeah. I'll do one more, I'll do one more. <laughs> what, what about area of effect? Like? I'm still rooting for yeah, the bar. I don't give a shit. Yeah. It's like so, a like, if if I, saves, yeah. so if, well, not. But what if it were? Because well, it's a hit too with a fucking chromatic orb. No, is it? Yeah. Oh. It's any, a, any, de- any deck <laughs> save? Yeah. There we go. So that one, the first one will hit. Okay. And. With tears streaming on her face, she's gonna go. That's one fail. Bang! (laughs) (laughs) And that one's also gonna hit, because it's plus eight. That's two fails. Boom! (laughs) And she's gonna hit twice. So that's two fail saves. Life leaves you. (laughs) No, I have have one fail. Nice, you got it! You can get it twice! Holy shit! He's literally too angry to die. Yeah. You you see this the, as the these uh, eldritch blasts slam into my bar, like his body like locks up against the wall, but he's still breathing. Oh my god, you resilient fuck! Can you just Come die on. already? This is it. This is it. Holy shit. Well, this isn't necessarily it. He could save. Well, I guess yeah. I have to get a natty. You get to twenty. Is only yeah. my only hope. And then even then. Uh, I mean, I could spend all my twists trying to hit you. That's right. You have to. You gotta, gotta fucking kill me. Damn it. That's a, that's a success. I'm dead. You got me. I like that it hit the walrus's body. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, I'm sorry, turn. buddy. Uh, natural twenty and a seventeen. You got me. Oh, and so with the the final one, it'll just she'll just shoot both of them at the same time, and she'll go, ba boom, ba ba, and that's it. And in that, he GG. dies. That's it. You Life not leaves have you, the bar, and Fuck. the souls pull <sighs> into the what a ride. into the ringer, and uh, you watch as the arena is uh, drenched in shadows, draped, all pulling the walls in. The grass swimming around you, shrinking, shrinking, shrinking down. For a moment, there's only you. The bodies of the slain uh, all around you uh, seemingly disappeared. Uh, It is just you and this glowing ringer until you see another object, a glowing chest, and 
floating, the ringer sinks into the open mouth of the chest. <clears throat> Hello, pyramid heads. What am I supposed to do here? I, this is some kind of mimic. Looking around, you don't see any pyramid heads. You don't see the dormitory. You seem to be in a totally open space. Uh, you're not even sure what you're, you're standing on. Um, you feel like you aren't uh, blinded by darkness. It just feels like you are in an almost abstract void where there happens to be gravity. And you find yourself there for but a moment, totally with your own thoughts, feeling what it is you feel to have been the survivor uh, uh, among hundreds of other lives. I never should have inv- incited virus at the, uh, violence at that Vans Warped Tour that one summer. <laughs> I never would have been in prison to begin with. And I should have just read a book in the library for 30 days instead of killing my dear friends. <laughs> but here I am, with blood on my hands. In the void, an empty void. I should write a song about this. Tease my hair and cry when I sing it. I guess there's only one thing to do. Hope that's not a mimic and open that chest. Well and done. I'll... Oh, God! Did you, uh, were you listening to everything I was saying? You hear a voice and turning around, you see a familiar face. It is the face of the guard that you remember who first offered you this opportunity. They still have a very changed look, an expression that you'd never seen on this face uh, except for the last time you saw him. And you realize that this is the face that whatever this entity is, whatever this inviter was, is just the face that they happen to be wearing while they talk to you. Well done, Glitzy, you've won the contest. Yeah, so I just open that chest and I claim my prize? To ascend to godhood, one must be willing. So yes, you can open the chest, but Your prize is the chance to become a god. You may also leave if you do not want the mantle of godhood thrust upon you. You may be freed, taken right back out. You wouldn't be in prison anymore. You could just be on your way. Yeah, but I just killed my friend, so... The choice is yours. Oh, this is scary. Because, see, the thing is, if I open that thing and there's some kind of trick, you say, can I see the fine print? There's no contract. What? You stuck us in here without any contract? You were pulled out of your mortal lives for a chance. Inside that chest is a divine spark, fueled by the very lives it took you to get here. All right. Well, I, I made a promise to Baba on his first dying breath, maybe it was second, it was definitely before his third, that I was gonna do my best to ascend to Godhood so that I could resurrect his brother for him and finish the mission that he left unfinished. And if there's any chance to get my friends back, I'm gonna take it. Even if it kills me in the process. 30 fucking days, and I'm gonna walk over. I'm not even gonna fly, I'm just gonna walk over to this little thing. I'm going to put my hand on the chest. Tusks win, and I'm going to open it. You open it, and inside is divine light. And you realize that you need only reach out and seize that divinity to become one with it, to ascend beyond a demigod or beyond a heroic adventurer. Uh, for th- With this power, you would make... A level 20 character look the way a level 1 character looks to a level 20 character. To put it in order of magnitude greater, you realize this is no lie, truly. This is the chance to be a goddess. Glitzy will consume it. She will slurp up that power. <clears throat> Time to see what fucked up thing Derek's I know, I can't wait. 
a staircase illuminates before you, and every step of the way, you define your deity qualities. Tell me, what is Glitzy's portfolio, her divine domain? If I were a cleric of Glitzy's, how would I follow thee? What would I do? Oh yeah, it's the domain of dance. It's all about music and, 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 and joyousness and fire. Joyousness, fire. Chaos. Chaos, yeah. Chaos. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. <coughs> yeah, take another we, we step. Party. <coughs> yeah. uh, we party all night long. We party, uh, uh-huh. We, we're not part of uh, the shadow fell and uh, the, that domain of dread and, uh, and uh, a get a or whatever, but I know that that's an all night party. This is also similar to that. It's just, uh, it's a little more chaotic, you know? We can't control our emotions. We can't control our magic. Um, it's, uh, it's like a mosh pit of uh, religion. Okay. You take further steps and you feel these qualities of yourself crystallize. These things that make made Glitzy uh, her person become a, uh, a, a series of ideas almost as you ascend into the abstract. What would your symbol be? Oh gosh, a bomb. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <clears throat> you take another <coughs> step. How would your followers refer to you? Glitzy certainly becomes a sacred name to those of you who believe in the faith, but there are titles. Do you have a, a, a title that uh, you would want for yourself or perhaps would be known for by reputation, infamy, fame? I mean, I'm not a very creative fairy, so probably just the bang. They call me the big bang. And some even think that it was my coming into the universe that just created everything. But that's what I at least lie to people about. What powers do you immediately take upon yourself in your first moments of godhood? In these few seconds, you have the ability to assume immortality, perhaps, or telepathy. Uh, you could create an entire plane of existence. The entire breadth of your divine power suddenly becomes, uh, uh, you become aware of. Oh, there's like this spell called, uh, like, um, enlarge or reduce. So I would like to have something like that, but it is destruction and rejuvenation. Destruction, rejuvenation. Yeah, so I can basically destroy entire cities or raise entire cities. <laughs> but like the other kind of raise, not the first destruction kind of raise. The staircase understands and you ascend once again. And when you deem it uh, so, uh, what kind of artifacts would A people... leather jacket. A leather jacket. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hey. It's a Fonz. <laughs> Fonzarelli. Um, anything else come to mind for art- artifacts, or is it all leather jackets, just hanger after hanger of them? Oh, it's just a- hangers after hangers of leather jackets. And finally, when you visit the mortal Not world... Not any of those shitty, like, um, I- I'm talking like the, uh, the leather jackets that flake away. Those, leather. The, yeah, bonded no leather. Bonded leather, you know, like if someone had a, a red bonded leather jacket that over the course of a like four years playing in a D&D campaign it flaked all over the floor it wouldn't be like that at all it'd be real leather jackets understood <laughs> and when you deem the it necessary to visit the mortal plane yourself when you when you swim down when you're not doing your divine business and connecting with your worshippers through faith or through radiance uh, hearing their prayers or doing what godly business you decide for yourselves what is your avatar how do you visit in physical form to the world known as Avantris? Oh, it's a fairy. Yeah, like this cute punk rock fairy that just hangs out with a jacket that says Glitzy the Bang Sparks on the back. <laughs> and so you look very much like your, you your me mortal me self. God. You uh, uh, sort of reassemble. You begin to... Um, oh, but my hair would be green instead of pink. So that way no one would recognize me. And I would wear glasses. 
with green hair. Yeah, but they would be marbles. studded. <laughs> yeah. Studded? Studded glasses. Studded glasses. Yeah. glasses. Like cat's eye glasses. Uh, <clears throat> you no, watch no, no, no. as yeah, each no. of these de uh, details come into form uh, by the nature of your very thought, by the very nature of creation, by the nature of your ascension, when you realize that you are bound to this form. You are bound to your godhood, certainly. Your goddessnessness. Cool. Above you, dozens of shadowy faces stare down. And you feel the force of their wills. Platinum trammels bind you to a banquet table. You attempt to move and push out with your godly powers, but so do the gods around you, the clients they're frequently referred to. These trammels hold you. Circles of arcane runes swimming above you. Shimmering divine symbols pouring in all directions. Primal flows of energy. Psionic strands surge and sway all around you. A tremendous amount of power needed. But you are a newborn god still new to your powers. And you are stopped. Your return to the banquet table. But this time, as the meal being served. Oh, shit! Clients, sharpen your blades. Prepare your forks. And the rest I will leave to imagination, for the meal is divine. But that's not where we're going to end tonight's session. <laughs> A little while later, the announcers find themselves standing on an intersection, having been zamped back to Galtica. Uh, the correct word is schlooped. Schlooped. Schlooped back. You're welcome. To Galtica. They've missed the final game of the 43rd Grand Flame Flow Prime Material Cham uh, Plane Championship. Their pockets are filled with precious gems and platinum. They are alive. The sun is setting on the horizon, just below the horizon even. The day is darkening quickly. An older blonde human, graying hair, faded blue eyes, a bald dwarf, short even for a dwarf, especially stout, with more mustache than beard. So that's, that's it then. All, all that for some kind of dark ritual of deicide? And the entertainment of the deadly games, I suppose, yeah. Simply terrible. I didn't think gods could die. Who are we to comprehend or judge such celestial things? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> Thanks, Ferret. I think I'll just wander a bit and find my way home. Take it easy. You do the same, Tank. Maybe I'll learn who won the championship. Well, see ya. Tank walks restlessly, aimlessly through the streets for some time. He passes shops and restaurants, parks and living complexes, districts, waterways, and stone buildings of governance. He strays without a destination in mind until he reaches a clothing store. He goes into the closing store, not thinking, just pausing and moving down through the artifacts, one item after the other, until a leather jacket catches his eye. And he looks at it. Pulls out one of the many coins in his pocket, and then places it into the pocket of the leather jacket. Feeling perhaps some form of relief, he turns back home to rest. And that's where we'll call tonight's session. <laughs>